Real life glitches caught on camera. A guy pulled out a camera to take a picture of a bird when he seen this helicopter taking off. The helicopter starts flying, but the propellers aren't even moving. A dad was recording his son while he was looking in the mirror. The boy turned around to look at the camera, but his reflection in the mirror didn't follow his actions. In 1995, when Mike Tyson was boxing, there was somebody in the crowd recording on a phone. But the thing is, phones with cameras didn't come out until five years after this fight. And finally, these people were having a street race on the highway. As soon as the cars passed, you could see a dog in the middle of the highway. It would have been impossible to miss it, so it had to have teleported. The biggest coincidences in the world. Shortly before their wedding, Nick and Amy decided to go through Nick's baby photos. In this picture of him playing at the beach during a vacation, Amy noticed herself in the background 11 years before they met. A reporter was asking people on the street in the UK if they remembered the final round of the 1967 FA Cup soccer game. The person he chose to interview turned out to be the goalie who played in the game, and look how happy he was. Do you remember it? Yeah, I do, I played in it. Did you? I was goalkeeper for Liverpool. Really? Yeah. Well, that's a stroke of luck me meeting <laughs> you. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, can you remind me of your name? Please? Tommy Lawrence. The guys in these pictures look the exact same, but they're not even related. The first picture is Enzo Ferrari, who was a race car driver and the founder of the car brand Ferrari. The other guy is a soccer player named Mesu. But the scariest part is that Enzo died in 1988, which is the same year that Mesu was born photos you'll have to look at twice. At first it looks like they're on a really thin edge, but if you tilt your phone they're all just laying down. At first it looks like this boy has big arms but it's actually just somebody behind him. This looks like an eyeball but it's actually just water going down a drain. It looks like this dog's cut in half but his fur is just blending in with the carpet. I've been looking at this picture for 20 minutes and I still can't figure it out so let me know in the comments. 10 facts you didn't know that could save your life. If your house ever smells like fish for no reason, nine times out of 10, it's because there's an electrical fire. If you're in a foreign country and you need to call for help, but you don't know the emergency number, call 112 and it'll automatically connect you to the nearest helpline. If a tornado looks like it's not moving, it's actually moving towards you. If you ever wake up to the smell of gas, don't turn on a light. A spark from the light switch could blow up your entire house. Lying flat on your back is the best way to survive a falling elevator. If your hair suddenly stands up, duck and cover because you're about to be struck by by lightning. If you ever fall off the edge onto the tracks, don't try and crawl back up. There's a crawl space built to go underneath in case this happens. If a deer runs across the road, it's better to hit it than swerve into the ditch. But if it's a moose, then it's better to swerve into the ditch. Because hitting a moose is like hitting a brick wall. Even if you have no service, you can still dial 911. In an emergency, your phone will connect to the nearest tower. If you ever get kidnapped into the back of a vehicle, disconnect the brake light wire so the cops will pull them over, then kick on the door to let them know that you're there. This squirrel was caught on camera staging its own death. In this viral video, a flying squirrel jumps from a shelf and knocks a broom to the ground. The squirrel then starts to flee the scene, but then he sees an opportunity to rewrite history. He returns to the scene of the crime and grabs the broom, then he flips over on his back, positioning the broom on his stomach, as if he was trapped underneath it. But then, the squirrel decides he could make it even more convincing. He brings the broom over his neck, then spreads his arms and legs. Now, it looks like a real crime scene. Like and subscribe if you think this flying squirrel deserves an Oscar. Five moments you wouldn't believe if they weren't caught on camera. When these local workers got a call that a dog fell into a canal, one of them had the idea to be lowered into the water and wait to make a perfectly timed rescue. A group of four hikers cross a suspension bridge in New Zealand that's meant to support up to 10 people. But halfway across, the bridge buckles, and three of the four hikers fall into the water below. Luckily, all of them were uninjured. This dashcam footage captures a truck driver in Saudi Arabia who forgot to lower the truck bed and crashes into a highway sign. People out on a boat in Lake Don Pedro captures a moment a riverboat casino starts to sink. And finally, a couple of teens were hanging in a park when they film a hot air balloon attempting to land nearby. But when the balloon misses its target, it ends up colliding with some telephone wires. Oh shit. <laughs> Holy f If you're having a bad day, then watch how this monkey reacts to a magic trick for the first time. People who survived the impossible. In 2007, 37-year-old Al Cides arrived at work with his younger brother named Edgar. They rode the elevator all the way up to the 47th floor of an apartment building in New York. 
Then they walked onto the platform that normally lowers them down so they could clean the windows. But the anchors holding the platform onto the building broke off and they started falling. In only 6 seconds, they fell a total of 472 feet going 120 miles per hour. Edgar hit a wooden fence and unfortunately died on the spot, but his brother survived. He suffered two broken legs, a broken arm, a broken foot, two collapsed lungs, a bunch of broken ribs, and a crushed vertebrae. He also had a swollen brain and ruptured a lot of organs. They think that the only reason he survived is because he held onto the platform as he fell, and when he hit the ground, the platform created enough barrier in between him and the concrete so he survived. This 40-year-old married a 4-year-old and the reason why will make you cry. This girl named Abby was diagnosed with cancer at the age of 2, and because of this, she spent most of her time in and out of the hospital. She was really sad until she met her nurse, Matt. He checked up on her every single day because he knew she didn't have much time left, and he also did everything that he could to make her feel loved. But Abby loved him so much that she told her mom that she wanted to marry him. Her mom then phoned Matt and asked him if her daughter could marry him. He said yes and they had their wedding at the hospital. Even though it wasn't a real wedding and they used a ring pop, the little girl will remember this forever. Stop scrolling! Take this one minute personality test with me. This test was designed by psychology professor Richard Wiseman. Start by placing your arms straight out in front of you with your palms down. Then close your eyes. Now imagine that there's helium balloons attached to the fingers on your right hand. At the same time, imagine a pile of books resting on your left hand. So the balloons are pulling your right hand up and the books are pushing your left hand down. Keep your eyes closed for a moment and remember your hands are being pushed and pulled. Now open your eyes. If your hands are far apart, you're more imaginative and sensitive. If your hands are closer together, you're more logical and analytical. And if you didn't close your eyes, Professor Wiseman thinks you're a little suspicious. Companies that lied about their products. The Q-Ray bracelet was released in the 1970s, and it was claimed to improve balance, strength, and overall health. Lots of athletes used to wear them, and I even knew a few people myself who used to wear them. But in 2018, this man disagreed and gave them a $16 million lawsuit. In court, the owner said that the bracelets were ionized and that's how you get the health improvements. So the CBC marketplace decided to bring one to the lab and analyze it, and discovered that they actually weren't ionized. But that's not all, they also had to give back $87 million worth of refunds to people who bought them and wanted their money back. After this happened, the company filed for bankruptcy. But to this day, they still have a website that they sell them on, and now they have a disclaimer that it won't treat, cure, or prevent any diseases. Four people who celebrated too early. In this volleyball game, a player managed to save the ball with their foot, and the other team didn't expect it, so they started celebrating. After this goal, he saved the ball from going in the net. He stopped paying attention to the ball and celebrated, but then this happened. During the Ironman, which is where you swim 2.5 miles, bike 112 miles, and run a 26 mile marathon, this guy started jumping in the air to celebrate, then his ankle gave out on him right before the finish line. And finally, during this race, the person in 5th place started sprinting as fast as she could to pass everyone and win the race, while the person in the lead was already celebrating. This woman won the lottery 4 times. Her name is Joanne R. Ginther, and she is originally from Texas. In 1993, Ginther won her first lottery and a prize of $5.4 million. She won the lottery again in 2006, and then again in 2010, bringing her total lottery winnings to $20.4 million. One mathematician estimated that the odds of hitting 4 big wins were 1 in 18 septillion. So how could this happen? Is she the luckiest woman alive? Probably, but it's more likely that there is some kind of scam involved. Some investigation revealed that Ginther was a mathematics professor who specialized in statistics, and most people who study the case agree that the odds are just too unlikely to be a coincidence. But for now, Ginther enjoys her lottery winnings in Las Vegas and keeps a low profile. Lucky people who survived the impossible. In June 2015, Natalia Pasternak was collecting birch sap with her friend in Siberia, when she was suddenly attacked by a huge brown bear for over an hour. While this was going on, her friend went to go get help. The bear buried Natalia because it no longer thought she was alive, and so that way the bear could come back later and eat her. But when the police arrived, they noticed that she was still alive and rescued her. Next up, we have Phineas Gage, who is working with his crew on the construction of railroad tracks near Cavendish, Vermont in 1848. While he was shoving explosives into a hole with an iron bar, the accident happened. The explosives ended up exploding, shooting the 43-inch iron rod straight up into the air, which ended up penetrating his cheek, skull, and brain and landing 25 yards away from him. He managed to walk to a co-worker and was taken to the hospital. When he arrived there, everyone was shocked because even though what had just happened, he was still able to communicate fine. After a month of rest, he was finally able to leave his house, but he did end up losing his left eye. Three tricks Walmart doesn't want you to know. Have you ever been at the store 
when someone asks you if you want to try a free sample or a new product? Well, a scientist said when you take the free sample, it makes your brain think it's dinner time, making you want to buy it. They sometimes put items on sale to make you think like you're getting a better deal, when in reality, they put the sale price as what they would normally sell it for as retail. You may think they just throw products on the shelves randomly, but they actually do it strategically. The top shelf has smaller brands, regional brands, and gourmet brands. They put them there to give tone and texture to the shelf, to help the store stand out from its competitors. The two shelves below are where they put the top selling brand, because it's at the customer's eye level, giving them a higher chance of buying it. Below that are the kids' shelves, where they usually place child appealing items, making the kids want to ask their parents if they could buy it. And finally, on the very bottom, they have the local brands and bulk items. This middle school fight takes an unexpected turn. In the cafeteria at Northeast Middle School, a classmate films as two students are about to start a fight. Everyone watches as the two girls start to push each other. Teachers then intervene to break up the fight as someone calls for the principal. But when the principal gets to the cafeteria to end the fight, she gets a surprise. 50 cents in the club starts to play and the students start to dance. It turns out the fight was staged and the prank was in honor of the principal's birthday. Her students and staff wanted a memorable way to show their appreciation for her. And she's quick to join in on the dancing once she catches on. Later, the two girls said they had no idea that the video would get so popular. Here's the only way to survive a tornado. If you're outside and you see one, don't stand there and watch it because it could change direction at any minute. Get inside your house and go to the basement or get under something to cover yourself from flying glass. If you're away from home and in a vehicle, make sure a seatbelt's done up, put clothes or a blanket over top of you and protect your skull. If you're not in a vehicle or you can't find a building, find the lowest point like a ditch, lay face down and put your hands over your head to protect yourself from flying debris. Just make sure to stay away from overpasses and bridges so there's less things flying around. This homeless man is actually an undercover cop. These cops in Maryland decided they wanted to do an undercover sting operation. One of the officers dressed up as a homeless man and made a sign to hold on the side of the road. But the sign didn't say what you probably think. It actually said, I am not homeless. I am a Montgomery County police officer looking for cell phone texting violations. They knew that by the time the drivers got close enough to read what was on the sign, it would already be too late if they were on their phone. The man on the side of the road also had a headset and microphone on. So if he saw someone on their phone, he would tell the officers waiting down the road and then they would pull them over. The reason they decided to do this is because school had just began so there would be a lot more kids crossing the streets. In total, they gave out 31 tickets. This vehicle started slowly moving out into oncoming traffic in a busy intersection. Then you could see a lady get out of her vehicle and start running towards the car and it was actually her co-worker. When she got to the vehicle, she looked in the window and saw that the driver was unconscious, but she couldn't stop the vehicle by herself. She started waving her hands in the air to try and get people's attention to come and help her and luckily some people started running over. One person, then another, then a third, a fourth, and a fifth all managed to stop the vehicle. They then tried to open the door to help the person, but it was locked. One of the ladies had a dumbbell in her vehicle, so she gave it to the man and he smashed open the back window. A bunch of people had already called 911, so they arrived. Apparently, the lady had taken medication on an empty stomach, which caused her to pass out while she was driving. Three criminals who got caught for the dumbest things. In 2011, a man from Florida attempted to rob a convenience store with a squirt gun filled with juice. Luckily, the worker recognized the juice as juice that they sell and he called the police. They then tracked him down and arrested him. In 2014, a man from Australia attempted to rob a gas station with a banana. He had peeled the banana and used it to simulate the shape of a gun. The man was also arrested and charged with armed robbery. In 2018, a man in California was breaking into a house but he didn't realize that he had accidentally dialed 911 while he was still in the house. The operator heard noises in the background, so he sent police to the phone's location, where the man was then arrested. People vs. Nature Part 2 These passengers on a cruise ship struggle against massive waves. <laughs> These hikers in Ireland struggle to walk upright against this intense wind. This man watches helplessly as he loses his house to a river. This skier is just able to outrun a massive avalanche. And finally, this teenage boy endures a hailstorm in his underwear for the sake of making a video. Rich athletes that went completely broke, part one. First off, we have Mike Tyson, who's earned over $400 million in his career. He spent a lot of money on random things, but the most random one has to be his tigers. He spent a total of $70,000 to get three tigers, but in order to feed them, he has to pay another $200,000 per year. He then had to pay another $125,000 to get them house trained at his $2.5 million mansion. But that didn't seem to work because one of them attacked his neighbor, and he was forced to pay another $250,000 in damage bills. 
Giants. So just from his Tigers alone, he spent $650,000, which still isn't that much for him since he can get paid $30 million for a fight. But he kept doing things like that, for example, spending $2 million on gold bathtubs, millions more on limos, parties, clothes, vehicles, mansions, and a ton more. Until in 2003 when he went bankrupt, and by the age of 37, he was $38 million in debt. But only seven years before that, he spent over $400,000 on one night of partying for his 30th birthday. The strangest last meal requests on death row. In 1963, Victor Harry Fager was sentenced to death for a kidnap and murder. For his final meal, he requested a single olive with the seed left in it. After his execution, the seed was found in his pocket. They believe he wanted to be buried with it so a tree would sprout on top of him. Gerald Lee Mitchell requested an assorted bag of Jolly Ranchers and he ate every single one. In 1990, James Edward Smith requested a lump of soil. But because dirt isn't on the list of permitted food, he was served a cup of yogurt instead. Thomas Grasso was convicted of robbery and murder. He requested a bunch of things like a cheeseburger from Burger King, two strawberry milkshakes, but the thing he wanted the most was SpaghettiOs, which he didn't receive. Instead, he got spaghetti, which was supposedly too warm. His last words before dying were, I did not get my SpaghettiOs, I got spaghetti. I want the press to know this. Moments when singers knew they messed up. During a Fifth Harmony concert before they split up, the singer Camila Cabello was hyping up the crowd when her part of the song started playing, exposing that they were all lip syncing. <laughs> At the Billboard Awards, the singer Miguel tried jumping from one part of the stage to another, but he accidentally hit a fan. Luckily, the fan wasn't injured too bad, and after in an interview, she said that she still adored him. I adore him. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. And you still adore him, even though even though you've got an ice pack on your elbow. Uh huh. But the weird part is, two years later, she decided to sue him. This man, who was an author and a rapper, went on live TV and decided to freestyle. Years ago, they tried to. Years ago, they tried to put me in the. This is a lie. But it didn't go very well, and the next time he was on the show, they introduced him as just an author and not a rapper. Here's what things costed in 1950. At the grocery store, a loaf of bread costed 14 cents. A gallon of milk cost 80 cents, and a dozen eggs cost 49 cents. A trip to the movies would set you back 65 cents for a ticket, and another 10 cents for a bag of popcorn. A bleacher seat for an MLB All-Star game costed $1. A night at a hotel was $5.90. The average price for a new car was around $1,500, and the gas to fill it cost 18 cents a gallon. Finally, a massive 12.5 inch black and white TV was around $150. The voices behind three of the most popular cartoons. SpongeBob SquarePants made Nickelodeon $12 billion. The voice actor for SpongeBob is Tom Kenny, who also voiced the mayor in Powerpuff Girls, Dog and Cat Dog, Spiral the Dragon, The Ice King from Adventure Time, and more. Patrick is played by William Mart Fagerbacke, who is in the sitcom Coach, and also How I Met Your Mother. In the movie Moana, Ollie E. Cravello said she wasn't gonna audition because she's seen so many good auditions on YouTube. Then someone finally convinced her. She was the last to audition and she got the part. Maui is played by Dwayne The Rock Johnson. He said he based the part on his father because Maui was very similar to him. Finally, in Guardians of the Galaxy, Rocket Raccoon is voiced by Academy Award winner Bradley Cooper. I'm in a and his sidekick Groot is voiced by Vin Diesel from the Fast and Furious series. I am Groot. This is why you should always have a dash cam in your vehicle. This lady was test driving a vehicle from her husband's dealership. When a cop passed her then suddenly turned around and turned on his lights. She was stopped at a red light then when it turned green she turned. She didn't know if the officer was pulling her over because she didn't think she did anything wrong but she pulled over anyway. When she put the vehicle into park she took off her seatbelt. When the officer walked up to her window she said that she took off her seatbelt because it was a habit. Then he said the reason he was pulling her over is because she wasn't wearing a seatbelt. She was being honest when she said it was a habit but the officer was using it to his advantage. She remembered she had a dash cam and told him that. Then he walked away without giving her a ticket. If she never had a dash cam, it would have been her word versus the officers. Five insanely lucky moments in sports. In the final seconds of this high school basketball game, a player throws up a wild full court shot and manages to make it to win the game. Next up, this baton handoff should have been a disaster. But because of a few lucky bounces, the runners were able to save it. During a college football game, this pass should have easily been intercepted. But luckily for Auburn, two players from the other team collided. And the the ball flew right into the arms of the receiver to complete the touchdown. After an incredible volley, it seems like Roger Federer is about to lose the point. But he's somehow able to make an incredible return between his legs. Okay, this one might not be lucky, this one might just be skill. And finally, Russell Westbrook is out of control as he dribbles towards the net. Not only does he draw a foul, he tosses up a Hail Mary that rolls off the backboard, hits the rim, then bounces in. 
two prison guards who were saved by inmates. In this footage from 2015, 17-year-old Jamal Ludridge is being processed at Fort Lauderdale Police Department. As the officer is booking the teenager for burglary, he gets a pain in his chest and collapses onto the floor. The boy looks around and realizes they're alone, so he starts yelling and kicking on the door to get some help, and ended up saving him from a potentially deadly heart attack. They even had a ceremony to honor him. Inmates from a jail in Georgia were at a cemetery watering the plants and cutting the grass. As the day went on, the guards started to hyperventilate due to the heat and collapsed, leaving the prisoners there without any guards. They could have easily ran away, but they didn't. Six of the prisoners rushed immediately to help the guard. They took off his bulletproof vest so he could breathe better and one of them grabbed his phone to call 911. And because they saved a life, all six of them got their sentences reduced by a quarter. The reason there's UFO sightings in Area 51. In the 1950s, US planes were doing low-flying recon missions over Russia. They did these missions to obtain more information because they were enemies, but they were constantly worried about being spotted and shot down. So in 1954, the president authorized the development of a high-flying top-secret aircraft. They needed a location that wasn't easily accessed by the public, so they chose Area 51. In 1955, there were spottings of UFOs in that area, and this is because they were testing the new aircraft that they built. It could fly higher than 60,000 feet in the air, and at the time, normal aircrafts could only fly 10,000 to 20,000 feet in the air. So when pilots would spot this top-secret aircraft above them, they would think it's a UFO. This seven-year-old girl saves herself from a creepy man. Emmy McArdle was laying in her front yard when a vehicle drove by. The car's window then rolled down and a man yelled hello. The girl looked up, then immediately ran towards her front door. While she was running, the man asked her if she wanted a bicycle, and this is what she said. No. Later in an interview, she said he seemed like a tricky man and was taught to stay away from them. People with real superpowers. Tim Cridlin feels no physical pain whatsoever. He doesn't feel needles in his skin. He doesn't feel high and low temperatures. And basically anything else a normal person would feel. Gino Martino, or better known as Hammerhead, has the ability to break concrete blocks, iron bars, and baseball hats with his head. And he even showed that he could drop a bowling ball from 5 meters and land on his head. Natalia Demkina has extraordinary vision. Her eyesight allows her to see everything that normal people could see, but she also has x-ray vision. So she could identify diseases just by looking at a person. Raj Mohan Nair can endure an electrical shock with the force of a few ampers. And to give you an example, a normal person can only endure a few milliamps before dying. Finally, Liu Thao Lin is the magnet man. He can attract metal objects to his body and he can hold up to 80 pounds of items. Apparently it's a sticky property in his skin and is an ability that may be hereditary. No one came to his birthday party, so Chuck E. Cheese did this. It was Evan's fourth birthday, and he celebrated in Chuck E. Cheese. His mom prepared a bunch of candy, a birthday cake, big balloons, and a bunch more. She also sent out 30 invitations to his friends. Evan was so excited, so they left early to play games with his friends before the party. He was the first one to get there, so he waited at the door for his friends to arrive. He waited for a long time, but no one showed up. One of the workers had to go to the bathroom to avoid crying because of how bad she felt for the boy. Evan and his parents decided to just go home. After a couple of days, the same worker posted on Facebook asking if anyone would be willing to give Evan a present. Within three to four days, she had over a dozen presents to give to him. She contacted Evan's mom and said that the store had a surprise for Evan. So they drove over and she surprised Evan with all the presents. The worker said that seeing Evan's smile was the only thing she wanted that day. Three times the Simpsons predicted the future. In a 2012 episode, Lady Gaga performed for the town hanging in midair. Five years later, she flew off the Houston Energy Stadium roof in real life to perform for the Super Bowl halftime show. In 2008, they showed Homer trying to vote for Barack. Obama in the election, but the machine kept changing his vote. Four years later, a voting machine in Pennsylvania was removed because it kept changing people's votes from Barack Obama to his rival Mitt Romney. Finally, in 1994, a school bully wrote Beat Up Martin on his Apple Newton, which was a product before the iPhone was made, but it got translated to Eat Up Martha. A few years later, when making the iPhone keyboard, they added the autocorrect feature and said it was inspired by this episode of The Simpsons. People who gained real life superpowers after an accident. Jason Padgett was a party animal who wasn't interested in mathematics at all, but one day at a party, he was hit in the head so hard that he got a concussion. The concussion caused him to become a mathematical genius. It made him learn fractal geometry, which he had never been taught before. When Derek Amato was 39 years old, he hit his head after diving into the swimming pool and was diagnosed with a concussion and 35% hearing loss. After that, Derek began to see black and white keys in his head and out of nowhere, he began to play the piano like an expert. Ben McMahon was in a car accident in 2015 and fell into a coma for a week. When he woke up, he could speak perfect Chinese, even though he had only learned the basics as a child. Tony Cesaria was struck by lightning after making a call in a phone booth. Within a couple days, he was addicted to music, which he wasn't before. After trying a piano, he became a musical artist composing his own music. This woman lost out on $120,000 when she ate a potato chip. Danielle Sager is enjoying a bag of Walker's potato chips when she notices something interesting. One of the chips is shaped like a perfect symmetrical heart. Danielle thought it was cute, so she snapped the picture to send to her friends, then she ate it. But when her friends responded, she realized that she made a huge mistake. But before I tell you why, I found this app that lets you put two people together 
and figure out what their baby would look like. Just press the link in the comments to try it for yourself. The reason it was a huge mistake is because Walkers, the company that makes the potato chips, was holding a competition for their customers to find the best heart-shaped chip. And the prize was $120,000. Her friends told her not to eat the chip, but it was too late. People versus animals. This man brings his young daughter fishing for catfish. But when he goes to reel in his catch, they get an unexpected surprise. Oh my god! That's a big gator, buddy! This mama moose charges at an unexpecting cyclist. This man tries to ride a pig, but the pig said no. Nope. This man is quick to give up on his own advice while handling a lion. And finally, this boy in Australia was just trying to ride on his scooter when he came across a magpie that tried to run him off the road. The weirdest World War II weapons that you've never heard about. The Kremlin Periscope Rifle. It's originally an STG-44, but modified with two accessories. A periscope and a bent barrel, which could rotate up to 90 degrees. The purpose of this gun is to allow shooters to stay in cover while still being able to shoot. The Schwerer Gustav Cannon is the largest artillery piece built to this day. It could only be transported by train tracks and needed 2,500 people to place the tracks. It also had to be assembled and deassembled each time, which took another 250 people three and a half days to assemble. The shells it shot weighed over seven tons and could travel over 30 miles long. This three-year-old was kidnapped in the middle of the day. On the sidewalk, you can see a grandma walking with three grandchildren. When all of a sudden, a man covering himself with a blanket comes and kidnaps one of the toddlers. The poor old lady, who probably hasn't ran in years, had to make the tough decision to leave her two other grandchildren and run after the kidnapper. You can also see a man get out of his car and run after the kidnapper as well. Since it was the middle of the day, lots of people saw this happening and they cornered him into a gas station. Then he set the toddler down and walked away like nothing even happened. He was later found by the police sleeping in the doorway of a store and he was arrested. This 90 year old woman lives out her birthday dream thanks to a biker gang. This is Barbara Moore. Morris, an elderly woman that lives in a nursing home in Manchester, England. Several years ago, Barbara told her children that if she lived to 90 years old, she had a birthday wish. To take a ride on a motorcycle like she did when she was younger. Barbara had figured that her children had forgot about her biker dreams. So she was stunned that on her 90th birthday, her son surprised her with a local biker gang and a Harley Davidson for her to ride. Barbara hopped on the back of the bike and rode with the 13 other bikers nearly 7 miles to a nearby pub. Her children describe her as having a daredevil spirit and nerves of Steel. But for Barbara, she said she was just happy to feel wind blowing on her face. Five genius products that were invented by accident. The post-it was invented by Dr. David Spencer who was trying to make a really strong adhesive. But what he actually did was the exact opposite. A weak adhesive that sticks lightly to surfaces. Popsicles were invented by an 11 year old boy when he accidentally left a cup of lemonade outside overnight. He had left the stirring stick inside it and the liquid froze around it. Play-Doh was originally invented as a wallpaper cleaner until it became a children's toy. Tea bags were invented to carry samples of tea, but customers found them useful letting them soak inside of hot water. And finally, bubble wrap. It was originally invented to be used as a 3D wallpaper, but when that failed, the inventors decided to start marketing it as a packing material. If you see mold on your bread, don't eat the rest of it. You've probably at some point in your life found mold on bread and decided to cut it off and eat the rest of it. Well, by doing this, it doesn't mean the rest of it is free from mold. Because mold is like fungus. If you could see the mold, then underneath, there's a bunch of tiny hidden roots called hyphae. And those roots release spores called mycotoxins, which can sometimes cause diseases in humans. So by eating the good part, there's a chance that it can still be moldy. After 93 days under the sea, this man is 10 years younger. You might remember Joe Deturi from one of my previous videos. He's the former US Navy diver and biomedical engineer who locked himself in an underwater pod for nearly a hundred days to document the effects of pressurization on humans. And as it turns out, the effects are pretty good. After returning to land, scientists and doctors determined that this experiment set his biological clock back approximately 10 years. Living in a pressurized cabin triggered a 20% growth in the length of his telomeres, which are what keeps your DNA from breaking down. As we age, our telomeres generally shorten, but Deturi was able to reverse the effects. His body's stem cell count grew by nearly a thousand percent and he experienced a 60% increase in deep restorative sleep. More research is needed to fully understand the effects of living under the sea, but it could be the key to aging backwards. Here's why they're called killer whales. No fatal attacks on humans have been documented in the ocean, but they're a huge threat to sea life. When you think of the top ocean predator, you probably think of the great white shark. But it's actually the killer whale because they have a diverse diet and they eat everything. They hunt in packs like wolves and eat everything from very small fish to big sharks. 
The five most illegal products on Pawn Stars. Number one, an antique gun desk. This type of weapon is classed as a novelty weapon because of its low capacity, rarity, and difficulty in finding ammunition. But the one shown on the TV show had one round of ammunition left in it. And to make it legal, you either have to deactivate the device or make it unusable. Number two, a turtle shell guitar. The shells of turtles are made of 60 interconnected bones. They're so strong that they started making guitars out of them until it was illegal. Number three, a German spy camera. It was the first spy camera manufactured by the Minox company and was designed by Walter Zapp in 1936. Number four, Penn State University orange bowl ring. Penn State items are highly wanted, but in this case, the engraving was erased, making it illegal to buy and sell. And number five, a Tyrian shekel coin. Tyre was the most important city in Phoenicia, which is now Southern Lebanon. Its coins were given out from 130 BC to 70 AD, and apparently the one taken to the show was stolen. Three secret service tactics that are insane. The president's main way of transportation is called the Beast. It's a Cadillac limousine with over seven tons of armor, which is eight inches thick. It can defend against gunfire and explosives, but it never travels alone. In the line of vehicles, there's a black van that holds the counter assault team. And in total, there's 12 vehicles that each cost over a million dollars. When chefs are cooking food for the president, every single one of their movements is monitored by an agent to make sure they're not poisoning the food. When the president travels, chefs go with him to personally prepare his food. He doesn't eat any food that's gifted to him, and when he buys food at a restaurant, he doesn't actually eat it. It's usually just for a photo. The president gets lots of online threats. And even if it's just a joke, they investigate every single aspect of that person's life. Their neighbors, friends, and employees can all be interviewed. They do this to see how serious the threat is, then decide if they need to take action on the person or not. A bank accidentally deposited $37 million into this lady's bank account and you won't believe what she did with it. One day, a lady named Ruth went online to look at her bank account and she noticed a bunch of money that wasn't hers. She then tried calling the bank to figure out how the money got there and who it belonged to, but they were closed. She then screenshotted her bank account and sent the pictures to her husband to see if he knew what was going on, but he had no clue. So the next day when the bank was open, she called again and they said that they made an error. So she got in her vehicle, drove to the bank and gave back every single dollar that wasn't hers. Good thing that it was an honest person because if it was someone else, they may not have returned it. People who did crazy things to avoid being caught. Frank Abagnale Jr. was a con artist and imposter who managed to avoid the law for many years by pretending to be various professionals, including a pilot, a doctor, and a lawyer. He even managed to pass an exam and become an attorney for a little while before he got caught. His story was later turned into a movie and it's called Catch Me If You Can. Joaquin El Chapo Guzman was a Mexican drug lord who managed to avoid being caught by using tunnels and secret passageways to avoid detection. He was eventually caught and is currently serving life in prison. Finally, Edward Snowden was a former National Security Agency contractor who leaked classified information about the agency's surveillance activities. To avoid prosecution, he fled to Russia where he was granted protection. He currently lives in Moscow, but he remains a controversial person. Person. Five secrets you didn't know about everyday items. I think everyone knows that the metal part on a tape measure is so you could hook it onto things and measure it. And there's also a small hole that you could hook onto nails to measure as well. But what most people don't know is that on the side, there's a sharp edge that's meant to mark the thing that you're measuring so you don't have to use a pencil. You may have noticed this small indent on the bottom of most bottles and it actually has a purpose. Most bottles have a logo on them and companies want the logo to be in the same spot on each bottle. So it holds each bottle in the same position while the machine applies the artwork. Most people's cabinets have a space underneath them and it's not just for looks. It's called a toe kick and it lets you stand closer to the counter and also so when you open them, they don't hit your feet. A long time ago, when typers used typewriters, they got so good at their job that they started typing too fast and would cause the arms to cross over and stop working. So they scattered the letters around to make it harder for people to type as fast. The five worst advertising fails. Snow White is on this package for apples, but I don't know if I'd trust them because in the movie, she got poisoned by one. On the box for Connect 4, it shows that it includes blue discs to block your opponent. And it shows the red player using one when they could have just won. On this ad for this massager, it shows that you could use it anywhere, including in the office, at home, and I guess even while you're driving with your eyes closed. This store was having a sale on computers, but apparently these PCs won't last long. But what they were really trying to say is that they'll sell out fast. Now before I show you the worst one, I found this app that tells you your celebrity lookalike, and apparently I look like Robert Downey Jr. Just click the link in the comments to try it and let me know who you get. Finally, on this ad for unbreakable wine glasses, it shows a kid holding one. This urban legend from the 1960s will shock you. One day, when a girl was driving home at night, she noticed a truck fall following her. The vehicle kept flashing their high beams at her and eventually ran into her vehicle. When she finally got home, she ran as fast as she could from her vehicle to her house so she could call 911. But so did the man following her. He pulled in behind her and got out of his truck, but then she realized he wasn't trying to hurt her, he was trying to help her. She then heard him yell, 
there's someone in the back of your car. Every time the man in the back of her car went to attack her, the guy driving the truck would flash his high beams which would make the man duck down. They ran inside and locked the doors then called the police. Secrets at carnivals? Don't want you to know. If you've ever tried playing the basketball game at a carnival, you know that it's really hard to make a shot. And this is because the hoops aren't actually round, they're shaped as an oval to make it harder for you to get it in. Also higher than the regulation height. And they also sometimes inflate the ball more than they're supposed to to make it bigger and harder to get in. In the game where you throw darts to try and pop the balloons, they deflate the balloons a lot, making them smaller and harder to hit, but also if you do hit them, less likely to pop. On top of that, the darts aren't as sharp as professional ones. They have a dull edge to them. Crazy ideas that actually worked. In some parts of the world, sunlight doesn't always reach, especially in the winter. So an engineer and an architect placed a giant mirror on the side of the mountain to reflect the sunlight. Alex too, who was a British student, needed money to pay for college. So he created a website with a million blank pixels, each one costing one dollar. On the website, companies could buy a pixel to place their logo and a link to their website. It was really successful and in no time, Alex earned a million dollars. In 2015, scientists discovered that due to the sun, a city's drinking water reservoir was evaporating and had increased levels of bromate, which is from the sun hitting the water and can cause nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and abdominal pain. So the solution was simple. They covered the water with millions of non-toxic plastic balls, which gave shade to the water and fixed both problems. Why squeezing your pimples is a bad idea. Our body always tells us when something's wrong. That's why when the pores of our skin become clogged and infected with bacteria, we get a red, lumpy, pus-filled pimple. Trying to make it go away faster by popping it is a terrible idea. The pressure you apply by squeezing your pimple will force the pus outwards, tearing your skin, creating a new wound that can easily turn into a scar. You're also likely to worsen the wound by adding new bacteria from your hands, because at least 150 types of bacteria are on your hands even when you think they're clean. Another thing that could happen is if you don't remove the entire pimple and accidentally push some dirt inside it, you can get an even bigger pimple and increase the chances of it being infected. If you have lots of acne, it's better to go to a specialist who knows how to treat them, and if you only have a bit, just wait for it to go away on its own. Rules that presidents have to follow. Every single letter that they get in the mail, or an email, or even a phone call has to be approved by the Secret Service first. After becoming president, they will never be able to drive themselves again unless it's on private property, even if you're a former president. If they want to go somewhere, they'll either have to be driven by an escort or the Secret Service. They're also never allowed to be alone again. So if they want to go for a walk or go to the store to grab something quickly, the Secret Service will have to go with them. They will also get their own library, and in that library will be transcripts of everything they've ever said to the public. Here is the only way to survive a plane crash. When booking your flight, try to get a seat in the exit row or within five seats from it. People in those seats have the highest survival rates. Wear pants and a long sleeve shirt made of non-inflammable material like cotton or denim. And sturdy shoes. You want clothes that don't restrict movement but also protect you against flames and flying debris. Bring a smoke hood or a wet cloth in a plastic bag. Most people survive impact but die of smoke inhalation. If you don't have these, breathe through your clothes. When boarding the plane, count the seats between you and the nearest front and rear emergency exit. So if it gets smoky, you could feel your way to safety. When instructed, brace yourself by putting your feet on the ground, crossing your arms on the seat in front of you, and lowering your head. Remain that way until you come to a complete stop, then by crouching so you still get some air, leave the plane and get away as far as possible. This is the smartest scam in history and you won't believe how he did it. A con artist decided he wanted to build a skyscraper in Texas. On the blueprint he put it was going to be 480 tall. He didn't specify whether it was 480 centimeters, inches, or feet. So the investors just assumed that he meant 480 feet tall and invested $200,000 which is around $3 million today. He did make the skyscraper but it was only 4 stories high and 480 inches tall. Then he kept the rest of the money for himself. The investors decided to bring him to court but the judge decided that the investors got exactly what they signed for and the man got to keep the money. Miracles people claim to have caught on tape. On Route 385 in Memphis, Tennessee, a driver lost control of his Jeep and went off the road. The car was immediately engulfed with flames. The driver escaped unharmed, but the curious thing is the police found a Bible that was untouched by the fire. It was perfectly fine even though the car was almost in ashes. In the Philippines, a little girl woke up at her funeral. Apparently she was ill and had a high fever which caused her to go into a coma, but the doctors didn't know that and declared her dead the day before her funeral. But luckily her relatives found out in time. Praladiani was a Hindu ascetic who claimed he hadn't eaten or drank anything in over 70 years. Specialists in the scientific department put him in hospital for 15 days under 24 hour supervision and claimed he hadn't eaten or drank anything in those 15 days. According to the man, this can be achieved by meditation and a divine blessing. 
The strangest Guinness World Records you've never heard of. The world's strangest diet belongs to a French man who throughout his life ate a total of 18 bicycles, 15 grocery carts, 7 TVs, 6 chandeliers, 2 beds, a pair of skis, and a computer. The world's longest noodle was made in a restaurant in China and measured over 3,000 meters in length. A lab and research employee for Dr. Scholes holds a record for the most armpits and feet sniffed. In 2019, the fastest time to push an orange one mile with their nose went to Arita Furman who completed it in 22 minutes and 41 seconds. Finally, the longest attack of hiccups belongs to Charles Osborne who got the hiccups in 1922 and had them for 68 years until the day he died. This waitress's random act of kindness changed her life. 18 year old Yvonne Williams is working at a waffle house in Texas trying to save money for college. But one day she noticed a customer struggling. An elderly man sitting in the corner was having trouble cutting his food. So Williams decided to stop during a busy shift and go cut the food for him. Another customer at the restaurant snapped the photo and posted it on Facebook. The picture went viral and the young lady became a local hero. The story caught the attention of the city's mayor who surprised her at work by declaring an official Ebony Williams Day. The Texas Southern University also rewarded her with a $16,000 scholarship for her kindness. This cop found a missing boy because he plays video games. One Saturday night, a 911 call was made reporting a missing boy. Gary Striebel was the officer assigned so he drove to the house to look for clues. When he was looking in the boy's bedroom, he found a laptop that was left open. He also saw that Discord was left open on it, and if you don't know what that is, it's an app that lets you voice chat and text while playing video games with other people. Luckily, the officer had been playing video games since he was just a little boy, and he uses Discord when he's not at work. He decided to open his personal Discord and send a friend request to the missing boy. He figured that if the boy had the Discord app downloaded on his phone, he could trick him into answering. He also noticed that the boy had just been texting with other people on Discord and was Within a few minutes, he responded. The man said right away that he was an officer, but the boy didn't believe it since he was using Discord. But then he explained that he's just a normal guy who likes to play video games when he's not at work. He didn't hear back from the boy, so he thought his plan had failed, but then he responded. He said, okay, I'll take your word for it and come back home. About an hour later, he returned back home and he wasn't hurt. This kung fu master appeared on a TV show in Hawaii. He showed how he could break concrete blocks with a glass. But when the show host went to the next block, he wanted to show the audience how hard the bricks were, but he accidentally broke it by tapping on it because he thought it was made out of a harder material. These are people who expose themselves on live TV. Let's continue. The show Inside Edition wanted to catch a fraud who said that she could read minds. So they invited her onto the show to try and solve an unsolved case. Then the man showed her a picture of a girl and he said it was his missing sister. The lady then charged him $400 and after said that the girl in the picture is no longer alive. Right after this, Inside Edition's host exposed her by saying the girl in the picture was actually her when she was younger. Peter Paul Popoff claimed to take away people's illnesses. He would have a large crowd then call out a random person and tell them their name and what was affecting them. But one time, someone brought in a radio scanner and discovered that he actually had a small earpiece in his ear. His wife would talk to him through it and tell him the name, address, and illness of his audience members. He was called out about this on The Tonight Show and after that, he went bankrupt. These are the most expensive mistakes. If this first one wasn't caught on camera, I don't think anyone would have believed him. This person just wanted to get a Coca-Cola for $2.75, but the vending machine glitched charging him $280 and he didn't even get a drink. And finally we have this guy who was happy about getting his brand new 65 inch TV until this happened. Now I have no idea why this person was recording because if they would have just helped, I don't think this would have happened. Three animals that you'll be glad are extinct. First off, we have the Gigantophithecus blackie, which is the largest ape that ever lived. It was almost 10 foot tall and weighed over 1100 pounds. It also walked on its fists. But surprisingly, it didn't eat meat, but would still protect itself from its predators, which included tigers, leopards, and bears. The Bielsey Buffalo Ampinga was a large frog that was 40 centimeters tall and weighed almost 10 pounds. Instead of eating flies and small bugs, it would lie hidden until lizards or young dinosaurs approached, then it would snap them up with their enormous jaws. And lastly, we have the Brontaurus burmistri, which was the largest carnivorous bird ever at 10 feet tall, also weighing around 1,000 pounds with massive claws. It was also as quick as a cheetah, and its kick was hard enough to shatter a bone.
The Power of Time Part 2. This guy's mom gave him and his brother the exact same teddy bear when they were born, but you could tell which one had more love. These indents in the carpet are from this person's cat walking the exact same path every single day. These three knives have been used so much at this person's work that they're almost gone. This is someone's carpet after moving their bed for the first time in 60 years. Here's this person's sun damage after being a delivery truck driver for 28 years. Here's what the floor of a bank looks like after years of people standing in the same spot. Now before I show you the craziest one, I found this app that lets you create your own fonts to use as your keyboard. Just press the link in the comments to get it. Here's the difference in stairs built in 1829 versus 2005. This is the worst form of torture. White room torture is when a prisoner is locked up in a soundproof room that's completely white. The walls are white, their clothes are white, and all they could eat is white rice on a white plate. If they have to go to the bathroom, they slip a white piece of paper under the door. Then a guard with padded shoes opens another door with a white bathroom. After months or even years in the room, the prisoner would start to have hallucinations. They then start to forget everything, including who they are and what their parents look like. Past and present technology, then and now. The first ever mechanical calculator was built in between 1851 and 1915. It could perform the four basic operations, addition, subtraction, division, and multiplication. Today's calculators aren't mechanical, they're electronic, and they can complete all sorts of mathematical problems within seconds. The first ever cell phone weighed over two pounds and costed $4,000. It could only be used for 30 minutes, and then it would take 10 hours to charge. Today, an iPhone 13 weighs 0.38 pounds and costs around $800. It charges in one and a half hours, and the battery can last approximately 20 hours. The first TV was mechanical and appeared in 1920. Models B and C consisted of cabinets with a small display, and it could barely reach 30 lines per frame. Today's TVs have digital technology and have a resolution of up to 8K, which is 33.2 megapixels per frame or 175 times more than the first ever TV. This chimp was separated from her newborn baby, and when they reunite, it might make you cry. At the Sedgwick County Zoo in Wichita, Kansas, a chimpanzee named Mahale delivers a baby chimp via an emergency C-section. But the baby chimp, named Kachiza, has trouble getting enough oxygen so he needs extra medical attention, which means he had to be separated from his mother. They kept the two apart for nearly two days. When the baby was healthy enough, Mahale got to finally see him again. The zookeepers watched closely as the two were reunited. At first, Mahale seems unsure as if she doesn't recognize the baby chimp. But then when the baby reaches out his arms for his mom, this is what happens. What a good girl. Five of the newest words added to the Oxford English Dictionary in 2023. First up is dap, which is defined as a casual greeting typically involving slapping palms, bumping fist, or snapping fingers. The acronym CODA, meaning child of deaf adults, has been around since the 90s, but was recently popularized by the Oscar movie with the same name, and now is officially in the dictionary. Porch pirate refers to someone who steals a package that is left unattended outside of the recipient's house. Final girl is a character term in horror movies, referring to the female protagonist who defeats the villain and is the only one left alive. And finally, a super yacht is, well, exactly what it sounds like. An extravagantly luxurious boat reserved for the richest of the rich. South Korea puts 90% of food waste to good use. Every year, the human population generates 1.4 billion tons of food waste. The majority of that waste ends up in landfills, except in South Korea, which has the most advanced food waste disposal infrastructure in the world. South Korean cuisine tends to result in more food waste because of the tradition for dozens of side dishes. And because the country has lots of mountains, there isn't much space for landfills. So in 1995, South Korea banned food scraps from going into landfills. And now, 90% of that waste gets turned into animal food, fertilizer, and fuel used to heat thousands of houses. This is how to escape quicksand. If you ever find yourself stuck in quicksand, don't panic. Despite what happens in the movies, it's actually almost impossible to drown. Because quicksand is denser than the human body body so it can't pull you under. So the air in your lungs will keep your upper body above the sand and only your legs will be under. So to free your lower body, first wiggle one leg in a circular motion. This will create small pockets of air for water to trickle down into. The water will help loosen the sand and allow you to pull your leg out to surface. Now with one leg free, kneel forward onto that knee to distribute the weight. Then repeat the circular motion with your other leg and congratulations, you survived quicksand. This teacher gets pranked and it makes his day. At first, you can tell he wasn't in the best mood based on his facial expressions. A student was also doing work from another class and the teacher wasn't too happy about that. But that all changed when he sat down. I have to finish. Well, you can finish it after you start my final. You're on my time now. All right. Okay, you need to separate. <laughs> what the heck was that? Somebody's seen her prank too. Somebody's <laughs> 
Hey, look here, Carmen. Hey, Carver. Guys. This is the luckiest man alive. Frain Selleck was riding a train when it went off the tracks into a river. 17 passengers died, but he was able to swim to shore with nothing but a broken arm. The next year when he was on a plane, a door detached from the aircraft and it crashed. 19 people died, but Selleck was found in a haystack with a few bruises. In 1996, he was on a bus when it drove into a river. Four people died, but again he survived. In 1970, his car's fuel tank exploded on the highway. In 1973, his fuel tank leaked and his car caught on fire. Fast forward to 1990 and he was in another bus crash. The next year when he was driving, a truck came barreling towards him. He jumped out of his vehicle and watched it explode. Five people who beat the system. This teenager's parents were gone for five days, so they put a camera in the house. So the kid put the camera towards a picture of the house, so their parents wouldn't know if they have anyone over. This boy's mom told him to go play outside. So what did he do? He brought his computer and played outside. If you park in front of this sign, you have to pay. And if you park behind this sign, you'll get towed away. But they didn't say anything about parking in the middle. On a bonus question, the teacher put, hint, it's not Greenland. So that's what the student put and they got the mark. Now before I show you the smartest person, I found an app that gives you a personalized workout based on your body type and goals. Just press the link in the comments to get it. Finally, this person parked in an illegal spot, so they gave themselves a fake ticket so they won't get a real one. Dumb inventions that people actually use. The Hug Me Pillow was designed for people who miss their partners. Its shape stimulates half of the upper back of a human and an arm to cuddle with. One of the sillier inventions that are actually really popular are cutters. They make cutters for avocados, strawberries, bananas, and even boiled eggs. The egg cracker has become really popular. It's a pretty simple machine. You just place the egg inside, press the device, and it cracks the shell. The toothpaste dispenser is something that lots of people didn't know they needed until it came out. You just put your toothbrush in the opening, a little bit of toothpaste comes out, and that's it. The ostrich pillow's design promises that you have a very comfortable nap. Basically, you just put your head inside the pillow, and depending on what position you're lying in, you could also put your hands inside. This man went to jail for stealing one dollar. James Verone went into the RBC bank without a gun, and handed the bank teller a note that said this. This is a bank robbery. Please only, uh, please only give me one dollar. Then he told her he was gonna go wait on the chair for the police to show up, which is what he did. He chose to steal one dollar because he wanted them to know he wasn't doing it for the money. But you may be thinking, then why would he want to arrest himself? Well, the reason is because he has no medical insurance. He has a growth on his chest, two ruptured discs in his back, and a problem with his left foot. And he said he thought the most logical thing to do was go to jail so he could get medical care and a place to sleep. Kids who remember their past lives. Sam Taylor is a boy who was born shortly after after his grandfather passed away. And in his first year, he already had memories of his grandfather's life. He even said to his father, I remember when I used to change your diapers, when Sam's father was changing his. Shanae is a boy who was born with two birthmarks on his head. From the age of three, he started having memories of his past life as a teacher, who was killed by a gunshot to the head. James Leininger is a kid who started having nightmares at the age of two, about his past life as a World War II pilot. He claimed that in his past life, he was the pilot James Houston, who was shot down in action in the Pacific Ocean three rejected Shark Tank pitches that made millions. First off, we have the Ring Doorbell. So if you don't know what it is, it's a doorbell that has a camera on it, and whenever it detects motion or someone rings the doorbell, it sends a notification to your phone, where you can then go onto the app and see them or even talk to them. When Jamie Siminoff appeared on the show, the company was worth $7 million. Now the company doesn't just make doorbells, but they also make home security systems and a bunch more. Amazon gave them $1 billion to have their items on their website. The Books is an online flower delivery service. In 2014, they left Shark Tank without an investor. But three years later, one of the sharks needed flowers for his wedding and ended up using the service. After that, he ended up investing in them. And in 2017, they sold $1 million of flowers in just one day. Finally, the bed jet is placed under your covers and allows you to change the temperature, rather than changing it for your whole house, which costs more money. But since he had no sales, all the sharks were out. When he released it to the market, he sold $3 million worth in his first month. This mom lets her kids do whatever they want and you won't believe what they can do. Her name is Leah Marshall, a 36 year old, and her strategy is to say yes to everything. So first off, for breakfast, she allows them to eat any type of candy they want, including ice cream. Secondly, they don't have to do their homework or even go to school at all. They can stay home and play video games all day. And lastly, she even allows them to swear at her. Now you may think her kids are probably rude and spoiled, but they're actually the opposite. Since their mom says yes to everything and lets them do whatever they want, those things become less special to them. So for example, after a few months of eating candy for breakfast, they're sick of it and no longer crave those things. Five 
Disney secrets you didn't know. If you look closely, some scenes from different Disney movies are quite similar. This is because the drawings were made by hand, and the animators only make a few changes to create a new scene. Lilo's voice belongs to the actress who played the role of Samara Morgan in the movie The Ring. Since Walt Disney wanted to spend most of his free time at Disneyland, he created a secret apartment on the second floor of the fire station on Main Street, located on the famous avenue that leads to the park's central plaza. The name of the wizard in the movie Fantasia is Jensen, which is Disney in reverse. Simba means lion in the Swahili language, and Boo's real name is Mary because the person who plays her is called Mary Gibbs. Finally, Walt ordered to build a bunch of tunnels underneath the park to allow the actors to get from place to place without the public noticing so they wouldn't lose the magic of the place. The craziest things found by airport security. In an Amsterdam airport, 200 bags of tarantulas were found. In 2015, a child was found in a suitcase that belonged to a 19-year-old girl traveling from Morocco to Spain. A couple from India were arrested at the airport for smuggling small bars of pure gold that they glued to their feet. At Shanghai airport, they opened a suitcase that contained live snakes, and in total there was 121 of them. Two women were arrested at Liverpool airport for attempting to transport the body of a dead relative in a wheelchair. And finally, a tiger cub was found in the suitcase of a Thai woman traveling to Iran. She tried to make them think it was a stuffed animal because there were other stuffed animals in the suitcase. But in the end, the woman was arrested and the tiger was taken for special care. A musical instrument that could be played without touching it. The theremin was invented by accident in 1920 by the Russian musician and scientist Leon Theremin. He was creating a device that could measure the density of gases but realized what he made produced sound that changed according to your hand position. The instrument consists of a box with two metal antennas on the sides and oscillators that control the frequency and amplitude of sound. The electrical signals produced by the instrument are then sent to a loudspeaker. The first antenna is on the right which controls the pitch. The closer you place your hand, the sharper the sound is. The farther you move your hand away from the antenna, the louder it will be. The theremin has been used several times to create themes for television shows and was played in the 70s by Jimmy Page, who's the founder of the Led Zeppelin band. The strangest last meal requests on death row. Philip Workman's final request was to get a large vegetarian pizza delivered to a homeless person. But the prison denied doing that, so he ate nothing. On the day of his death, many people from around the world donated pizza to homeless shelters. David Leon Wood was on death row for 22 years before he was put to death. For his last meal, he chose a pizza and a birthday cake which he shared with his family. But the strangest part is, his birthday wasn't for another three months after his death. John Wayne Gacy, otherwise known as the killer clown named Pogo, ate 12 fried shrimp, a bucket of KFC chicken, french fries, and a pound of strawberries. Five rare phobias you've never heard of. Plutophobia is fear of money. People with this condition are afraid of handling, making, and being around money. Some people might even sabotage their own careers to avoid making money. Omphalophobia is fear of belly buttons. In an extreme case, one person with this phobia became physically sick from just the sight of a belly button. Decidophobia is exactly what it sounds like, a fear of making decisions. Dextrophobia is the fear of having all objects on the right side of your body. This can also include the fear of being right-handed. And lastly, there's phobophobia, which is... You guessed it, the fear of phobias. This McDonald's worker paid for her family's meal after the mom forgot her wallet and the way she repays him will shock you. When Brittany was driving her three kids home from football, her youngest kid started crying because he was hungry. So she decided to go to McDonald's and get everyone food. When she got to the drive-thru, she ordered then pulled up to the first window to pay. But then she noticed she forgot her wallet. She then looked up to the McDonald's worker with tears in her eyes because she was so stressed and told him to cancel her order. The worker was a 16 year old kid named Wyatt. Without even thinking, he pulled out his wallet and paid for the family's food. The family later found out that he was saving up money to buy a car. And the way they repay him will shock you, but before I tell you how, my merch just released today. If you want to support me and get some sick looking clothes while you're at it, just press the link in the comments to check it out. The family set up a GoFundMe page and it raised over $50,000. Homeless people who won the lottery. Laszlo Andrzejczyk was an alcoholic from Hungary who lost everything. He was homeless for seven years with hundreds of unpaid debts, but his luck changed when he bought a lottery ticket for just a few pennies. He won 636 million Hungarian guilders, which is equivalent to $2.5 million. A man living in his car from England bought a lottery ticket with his last few pennies. He put the ticket away and six months after he bought it, he found out that he had won 250,000 pounds. A homeless man who lived in a tent won $50,000 after buying a ticket. Even though he could have bought a small house to live in, he chose to upgrade his tent and help his homeless friends by giving them each $100. You can't call yourself a driver if you don't know these three secrets. If you get stuck in snow, sand, or mud, you should move the steering wheel from side to side to give the tires more room to maneuver than put the vehicle in reverse to make even more space.
trees. Get the tire jack from the back of the vehicle, then raise it into the air so you can place branches or floor mats underneath the wheels. This will give the tire something to grip on, so now you can just drive out and you're free. Turn on the air conditioning even in the winter. Even if it's cold outside, you should turn on your air conditioning at least once a month for a few minutes because this will prevent the system from deteriorating. If you notice the person in front of you is driving unsafe, then pay attention to their front wheels so you can anticipate their next move and not be surprised. This old lady fell while delivering pizza and you won't believe what happened to her. The lady is a 72 year old great grandmother who works at Domino's and one day while she was delivering pizza, she fell. The homeowner rushed outside to make sure she was okay, but the only thing she was worried about was that she damaged their food. Sorry. <laughs> Food. The lady used to work at a school as a lunch lady, but she took the job at Domino's Pizza because she needed the money. The homeowners felt terrible that she was working at the age that she is and not because she wanted to, but because she had to. So they posted the video of her falling onto Facebook along with a link to a GoFundMe page. Just the next day, they went to Domino's and found her working there and told her that they made a GoFundMe page for her. Then they revealed that it made $235,000 and she was able to retire. This lady sees a crying man forced to throw a package in the trash. One day, Evelise Hernandez was getting dropped off at the airport in Florida by her boyfriend. He decided to wait with her until she got through security, but they noticed the man in front of them was taking longer than usual. The security wasn't letting the man take one of his bags through. The couple couldn't see what was in the bag, but they figured it was something important because he was almost in tears. The security also wouldn't let him put it in the lost and found. They made him put the bag in the trash. Since Evelise's boyfriend wasn't going through security, he went to the trash can and got the bag. Inside was a snow globe with a little girl on it and a couple on the other side. Evelise posted about this on Facebook and it went viral. The shop that sold the snow globe saw the post and reached out to her with the name of the person who bought it. In the end, they were able to meet up with the person that bought it and return it to her. This dad loses it after finding out what the babysitter did to his daughter. Jason Weshi, the father of three-year-old Hannah, is a hardworking man. And some days he just can't get everything done that he wants to while looking after his daughter. So he decided to look around for a babysitter and he got recommended one by a friend. The 35-year-old babysitter named Lindsay had been looking after his daughter for a few months now. When one day she phoned 911 to report that Hannah had fallen to the ground unconscious. Jason rushed to the babysitter's house as soon as he found out, and when he got there, he saw his daughter on the ground unconscious with a black eye. She was brought to a children's hospital where she had to have part of her skull removed to relieve the swelling in her brain. When the cops questioned the babysitter, she admitted that she was shaking the girl, which caused the girl to fall over onto concrete and be put in a coma. The little girl was left brain dead, and after three days, she was pronounced dead. The babysitter was charged with child endangerment and assault, but she pleaded not guilty and was let go free. This April Fool's joke leaves the teacher shocked. This teacher has a rule where if your phone rings in class, you have to answer it on speaker. So for April Fool's, a student decided to get her friend to call her pretending to be a nurse and tell her that she was pregnant. And the teacher's reaction is priceless. That's okay. I've, I'm very sorry. I've, I've been expecting this and okay. I already know what I'm going to name the baby. The first name will be April and the middle name will be Fools. <laughs> Here are some of the most popular snacks in different countries. Argentina is the world's number one consumer of alfajores, which are sandwich cookies stuffed with dulce de leche and dipped in chocolate. Honey butter chips were so popular when they first released in Korea in 2014 that they sold out everywhere in just a matter of months and inspired competitors to make similar flavors. In Africa, people snack on bitlong, which is a salted and cured meat like jerky, but way easier to chew. Bomba is a puffed corn peanut butter snack that's popular in Israel. Stroop waffles are thin waffle cookies with a caramel filling first sold in the Netherlands but now sold all over the world. And finally Tim Tams are a biscuit cookie and staple in Australia. It even inspired the creation of the Tim Tam Slam where you bite the corners of the cookie then use it as a straw to drink a hot cup of tea then finish it off by eating the melted cookie. This lady noticed small handprints on a basement window and you won't believe what they found inside of it. Marcos was a 30 year old man living in a small town in Mexico. Every few weeks he would pack a small bag and ask his neighbors to watch his house while
he went on a trip, but he would never tell them where he was going and sometime leave for weeks. One time after he returned from a trip, people started noticing he was acting different. Whenever he would talk to someone, he was really nervous and jittery. One night, when a lady was out for a walk, she noticed something strange about Marcos's house. His basement window had small handprints sponged on them as if someone was trying to escape. That night, the lady wasn't able to sleep because she couldn't stop thinking about the handprints, so she decided to call the police anonymously. In the basement, the police found a small bedroom with toys, food, and a small closet. And when they looked inside the closet, they found a young boy hiding. It turns out that the young boy named David was taken by the local gang, and Marcos, who was also a part of the gang, felt bad for David, so he helped him escape. At first, he hid him at a farm and brought him food and clothes every few weeks. Then he decided to bring David to his house so that the gang wouldn't come looking for him. Since David was found, he was adopted and is now living in another town. Hidden secrets and everyday items that you didn't know about. Have you ever wondered why doorknobs are made out of brass or some sort of alloy metal? This is because those materials help prevent bacteria from spreading. If you take the lid off your cup and place it underneath, it fits perfectly as a coaster. Have you ever wondered why there's a hole in plane windows? The hole is in the middle pane of the three window panes. It takes off pressure from the outer pane so the window doesn't break. Gas pump hoses are attached by magnets. So if you forget to take out the hose, the pump won't go with you. The number on the side of lotion tells you how long the product will last so you don't damage your skin. The different colors on the bottom of toothpaste tubes actually mean something. Blue means it's made with natural resources and medicine. Green means it's only made with natural resources. Red means it's made with natural resources and some chemical compositions. And black means it's made with pure chemicals. This woman needed a new kidney and her dog found a donor. 44 year old Lucy Humphrey had battled her whole adult life with lupus. And in 2017, the doctors told her that she needs a new kidney and that if she didn't find one in the next five years, she could die. After hearing this news, Lucy and her husband decided to take a much needed vacation to the beach along with their two Doberman dogs. While at the beach, one of their dogs named Indy kept running over to another person at the beach who was crocheting. The third time the dog ran over, Lucy and her husband went and apologized. The three of them then started talking and Lucy told them that she had just joined the kidney donation registry. The two of them then exchanged numbers and one blood test later revealed that these two women were a perfect match. The odds of this are 1 in 22 million. In the end, Lucy got her new kidney and remains friends with the donor. This is the story of the Hope Diamond which ruined its owner's lives. The Diamond of Hope is a beautiful looking gem, but it's said to bring bad things to whoever that wears it. John Baptiste Tavernier was the first owner of this gem, but as soon as he got it, he had non-stop fevers that didn't go away until he sold it to King Louis of France. Then Louis decided to bring it to his jeweler and asked him if he could make it into a necklace that he could wear on special occasions. But a little while after the necklace was ready, he passed away due to not getting enough blood flow to the brain. The jewel was then passed on to his wife who used to wear it every single day. But after the outbreak of the French Revolution, she was executed by the guillotine. Years later, the owner was Abdul Hamid II, who was a Turkish king but his life changed for the worse shortly after he started wearing it. Due to the military revolution of the Young Turks, he was overthrown as king and spent his last days in prison. These are some of the biggest mistakes in fast food history. In 2015, Burger King offered a limited edition Halloween Whopper with a black burger bun. The reviews for the burger were actually pretty good, but it turns out that the food dye in the bun had one unfortunate consequence. It caused customers to have bright green poop. Chipotle's first attempt at queso was a huge failure. Customers complained that it was watery and flavorless, and the negative press caused Chipotle's stock to drop. Fortunately, Chipotle dropped the old queso for a better one. In the 1980s, McDonald's rolled out the McSpaghetti, but customers had no interest in eating pizza and spaghetti from a burger place, so McDonald's discontinued the item. Finally, we have Taco Bell's seafood salad. Because of the success from McDonald's filet o fish lots of fast food chains wanted to try seafood as well. But Taco Taco Bell's crab, shrimp, and white fish salad was a huge flop and it was removed from the menu after several reports of food poisoning. Dark secrets that zoos don't want you to know. Zoo pens are a possible source of salmonella, E. coli, and many other diseases. So be careful when touching the animals. Some animals can suffer from zoonosis, which they get from being held in a zoo that causes them to tick, groom excessively, and make them anxious. And to control it, they give them medication. When zoos have too many animals and very little space, they give them pills to prevent them from having babies, or they sacrifice them at birth. The food given to animals isn't always the best. In many cases, they're given processed foods, and animals like tigers who only eat meat develop dental problems, and become anxious because they can't hunt. Finally, it's 50 times more expensive to keep an elephant in a zoo than to let it run free. The homeless teen who invented Disney. From an early age, Walter Disney showed interest in drawing, and in 1919, he got a job as an apprentice at a commercial art studio. While he was there, he met a friend, and together they opened a drawing business called Disney Eyeworks. But unfortunately, they didn't get any customers, so he decided to start a new business called Laughogram Films, but again, had no luck. Because of this, he became homeless, and with only $40 in his pocket, he moved to Hollywood. Universal Pictures hired him to create an animated 
series called Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. The character was a hit, but Universal kept the rights to the rabbit, leaving Walt out of the picture. A little while later, he created a short film with the financial help of Pat Powers. In that film, he included a character that would become one of the most famous cartoons in the world, Mickey Mouse. But eventually, Powers stopped financing it and Walt went into depression. But soon after, Joseph Shank encouraged him to animate with color, which resulted in the film Snow White, released in 1937. Today, Walt Disney Studios is one of the most successful companies in the world, with an estimated value of $130 billion. These inspectors found 110 violations at a restaurant called China Buffet. When the interviewers got there, they found steak lying on the ground, and the sink where they cleaned dishes looked like this. Just a few things that the inspectors found were six live roaches near a food prep table, a bunch of different meats laying out and not in the freezer, the dishwasher wasn't sanitizing, there was mold everywhere, an employee was smoking in the food prep area, a bathroom in the kitchen had sewage all over the floor which made the whole place stink, and that's just six of the 110 violations. When they asked the restaurant owner a few questions, this is what he had to say. No cameras. No cameras what? Don't, first of all, don't That's touch. The, first of all, first of all, don't touch the camera. Don't touch wait, the camera. Talk to my attorney. Talk to Don't touch my camera. Touch. Don't touch my camera. People who survived the impossible. On April 5th, 2015, Victoria Celiers went parachuting. She had gone many times before, so she had lots of experience. But her husband, Emil, sabotaged her parachute without her knowing. She fell 4,000 feet before hitting the ground going 60 miles per hour. In most cases, that would be fatal, but luckily, she hit a soft part of the field that had just been plowed. So she ended up surviving but was badly injured. The police later found out that her husband was seeing two other ladies, and he had promised one of them that he would leave his wife and take her life insurance money for the two of them after after her death. They also found out that he had tried to murder her a week before they went parachuting as well. He opened a gas valve in the kitchen while she was sleeping, then went to his ex-wife's house to sleep. Luckily, she woke up and smelled the gas in time to prevent anything bad from happening. Her husband, Emil, was then sentenced to life in prison. Here's what cartoon characters would look like in real life. Daffy Duck from Looney Tunes, Daisy from Looney Tunes, Speedy Gonzales from Looney Tunes, Tiger from Winnie the Pooh, Chase from Paw Patrol, Bing Bong from Inside Out, Bruni from Frozen 2, Sandy from Spongebob, Judy Hopps from Zootopia, Flounder from The Little Mermaid, Perry the Platypus from Phineas and Ferb, and the cat from Alice in Wonderland. This farmer found a possible alien egg, but then a scientist tells him the truth. On one Christmas day, Jose left his house to go on a morning walk. As he walked alongside a river, something strange caught his eye. On the edge of the river, surrounded by water and mud, was a huge grey object that looked like an egg. He rushed home to tell his family what he had found, and his wife laughed because she didn't believe him. He went back to show her, and even dug out the mud around it to see how big it actually was, and it ended up being over 3 feet long. He told the public about this, and everyone started creating rumors about what it was. But after a lot of research from scientists, they discovered that it was actually a shell. 15,000 years ago, glyptodons roamed the earth and after the scientists did some studies on the shell, they came to the conclusion that that's what it was from. Here's how to become the world's first trillionaire. The competition to be the richest person in the world right now has been in between Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos. But this could change in the future because of an industry that hasn't yet been started, which is asteroid mining. Gold, silver, palladium, platinum, and much more can be extracted from asteroids between Mars and Jupiter. For example, the asteroid 16 Psyche has enough supply of ferro-nickel for the whole world to last for millions of years. The person who starts this industry will make money like never seen before without even traveling that far, because there's valuable asteroids close to Earth, like the 162,173 Ryugu, which is estimated at 83 billion dollars. So far no one's been able to pull it off, because taking things to space is really expensive. And the most important question is how are they going to extract the metals from the asteroids? The most uncomfortable products ever designed. Number 1. This child car seat. In order to help parents keep their children quiet in car seats, a designer came up with the idea to paint Disney's Princess Cinderella on it. It looks good when there's a small child sitting in it, but as they get older, you'll have to adjust the headrest and to do that, you have to stretch Cinderella's neck. Number two, these Kleenex tissues. We all know the typical Spider-Man pose, and someone decided to put that on a Kleenex box, and whoever designed it didn't think it through, because they put the image in a way where it looks like you're pulling tissues from Spider-Man's bum. Number three, Wonder Woman scissors. The scissors have a good design when they're closed, but when opened it looks like you're splitting Wonder Woman in two. And finally, number four, the red ribbon. In a children's hospital, they painted a pathway that's supposed to look like a red ribbon, but instead it looked like a path left by someone dragging a bloody body. The answers to three questions about planes you've always wanted to ask. Why don't they have the same seatbelts as cars? For shoulder straps to work, it has to be attached to something sturdy like a car frame. And airplanes
plane walls aren't equipped for that. If they were, it would make the plane heavier, making it burn more fuel. Plane seatbelts have lift lever buckles, making it stronger, and so you can't accidentally open it. Why do planes have red and green lights on their wings? The red light is always on the left wing, and the green light is always on the right wing. This way, other pilots in traffic control can tell which way the plane is flying. The two different colors also make it less likely for the plane to be confused with something like a drone. Why are the windows round? Rounded corners help distribute stress, reducing the chance of it breaking. Square windows are dangerous because the sharp angles are easy to crack because of air pressure. This teacher promised her students a treat if she made an impossible shot. This third grade teacher, Kathleen Fitzpatrick, or as her students at Holy Trinity School in Washington, D.C. call her, Miss Fitz. On one Friday afternoon during recess, Miss Fitz was playing basketball with her students, and she decided to make them a bet. If she can make a shot, she'll bring in hot chocolate for the whole class on Monday. Miss Fitz then takes a few dribbles as her students cheer her on. She then launches up a Hail Mary shot, and boom, the kids go nuts. It turns out Miss Fitz actually played college basketball, and once hit a three-point buzzer beater to win the game. But I bet this shot for hot cocoa felt even better. This is the youngest person ever sentenced to death in the world. His name is George Steiny Jr. and he was just 14 when he was executed. He was accused of killing two girls who were 11 and 7 years old because the girls' bodies were found outside of him and his parents' house. The trial lasted for two hours and the whole time he kept claiming that he didn't do it. But only 10 minutes after it was over, they came to the conclusion that he was guilty. He spent the next 81 days in prison without being able to see his parents. And then he was executed on the electric chair. But almost 70 years later, a judge from South Carolina proved that he was actually innocent. I bet you can't get the right answer to this simple question. A bat and a ball cost a total of $1.10. The bat costs $1 more than the ball. So how much does the ball cost? I'm gonna say the answer, so if you want some time to think, just pause the video. You probably answered 10 cents, and that's what most people guess. But the real answer is 5 cents. Because if the ball was 10 cents, $1 more than 10 cents is $1.10. And 10 cents plus $1.10 equals $1.20. But if the ball is 5 cents, which is the actual answer, then $1 more than 5 cents is $1.05, which equals $1.10 as the total. Outdated laws you won't believe still exist. In Louisiana, you can be fined $500 for delivering a pizza to someone else's house. In North Carolina, it's illegal for a bingo game to last more than five hours. It's also illegal to be drunk while you're playing it. In South Carolina, pinball is considered too addictive for kids, so you have to be at least 18 years old to play it. In Vermont, women must have permission from their husbands before getting fake teeth. Here is the only way to survive a tsunami. If you want a chance of surviving, you'll need to be able to identify the early signs of a tsunami. In most cases, an earthquake happens before a tsunami, so protect yourself from that first, then get to high ground as quickly as possible. Another sign is the water will pull back and expose more land. Don't go investigate because you'll be putting your life at risk for when the water comes back. Instead, head in the opposite direction. Try to get 2 miles away from the ocean or at least 100 feet above sea level to be safe. If you don't have time to get far away, look for a tall, sturdy building and get to the top as fast as possible. If you can't get to a building, find something and hold on to it. When you think it's over, it probably won't be. Tsunami waves can be anywhere from 5 minutes to an hour apart. So stay in a safe place until you hear from your local officials. He built a secret home in the corner of the mall and lived there for four years before being discovered. While Providence Place Mall was under construction, Michael Townsend, who's an American artist, was running around the site when he noticed a section that made no sense. It was an opening between two walls that led to a space too small to be a store and too angular to be part of the parking lot. But he continued on his run. Four years later, him and his friends were forced to leave the place that they were living because it was going to be destroyed and replaced with a parking lot. Because of this, he got an idea and remembered the space that he had seen years ago. That's when him and his friends got to work and cleaned up the space. They decorated it and took electricity electricity from the mall for a TV and video games. The only thing they didn't have is a bathroom, but they were caught four years later, and they all went to trial for trespassing and many other charges, but the judge made the decision to let them go on probation. Disney closed this water park and the reason why is scary. In 1976, Disney opened its first water park called Country River. It was one of the most popular attractions at Disney World, because it had lots of water rides with slides, rivers, and a lake with a sandy bottom. Since it was located in Bay Lake, Florida, it had a unique water filtration system which kept the water clean. But in 2001, the park mysteriously closed, disappointing a lot of people. Disney announced that it was due to remodeling but years went by and it never reopened. And in 2005 they announced that it would remain closed permanently because they didn't have many visitors. Many people weren't convinced with this explanation because there were still tons of people going there. Instead they believe the reason is due to several fatal accidents that happened over the years. One of them was an 8 year old boy who was enjoying a ride. An amoeba from the water got in his body through his nose and it attacked his nervous system which ended up killing him. Some maneuvers in fighter jets require the pilot to experience 9 G's of force and this is how they train for it. On top, green. 
One, two, three, legs, butt, three, one, two, three, looking good, work it up, breathe, one, two, three, release the stick, release the stick, keep training, good work, congratulations. Uh, thanks. This family was shocked when they returned home to a clean house. This 27 year old runs a cleaning service called the Cleaning Fairy. He does the dusting, the vacuuming, the cleaning of the cupboards, and even the dishes. One day, he was hired to clean his friend's apartment in New Jersey. He was told that he would find the key to the apartment under the mat, and he did. He said he spent around two and a half hours cleaning the apartment when his friend texted him. His friend was asking him when he was going to come to the apartment or if he had already been there. He replied with, yeah, I cleaned it and I'm sitting on your couch right now with your cat. Then his friend replied saying he doesn't have a cat. The apartment that he was in was number 227 and his friend's apartment which he was supposed to be in was 277. When the owners got home, they recorded this video in shock and here's what they had to say. Somebody broke in and cleaned our apartment. <laughs> Five people who beat the system part five. At this resort, you're not allowed to have drinks by the pool. So they made a massive straw and left the drink on their balcony. This guy said his name was Mark spelt with a C. So instead of changing the K to a C, they changed the M to a C. The teacher told them they could only have a one-sided cheat sheet. So this student taped the paper to make both sides one side. This guy's girlfriend told him to wear a plain tie. So he sent her this picture of a tie with planes. Now before I show you the smartest one, I found a really addicting app that lets you create games to play with your friends and also play millions of other games created by other players. Just click the link in the comments to get it. Finally, this town wasn't allowed to have a statue so close to the road, so they put a flag in it to make it a flagpole. This bully took things too far and could have went to jail. A 15 year old girl named Hannah Combs from Texas was only a few weeks into her sophomore year at high school. One day when she was talking with her friends, a boy snuck up behind her and did something to her. She immediately felt a burning sensation on her head but she didn't know what he did to her. The boy did this because he thought it was funny. She started crying because of the pain then passed out onto the floor. She was rushed to the hospital and the school phoned her parents as a protocol. Hannah had gotten third degree chemical burns and the doctor said she would have to shave a portion of her hair apparently the boy poured super glue on her hair for no reason her father wanted the police to file assault charges but the bully's mom disagreed by saying he was just a kid and made a mistake when the community learned about this a hairdresser offered to give her a haircut for free here's what would happen if you fell off a cruise ship in 2018 a British lady was on the Norwegian star cruise ship when she suddenly fell off the back as soon as the crew found out about this they started a search and rescue for her they also called the authorities who sent water patrol an aircraft and two rescue boats to find her after 10 hours they managed to find her and quickly took her to the hospital. The chances of survival are slim, but she has several things in her favor. Because she worked as a flight attendant, so she probably knew what to do in this situation. Even though these accidents aren't very common, they have emergency protocols in place. If there's an eyewitness who can report what happened, the crew notifies the captain who usually stops the ship and backs it up. The authorities and the coast guard are then notified, while the crew searches for the spot where the person fell off. If you ever fall overboard, it's important to stay calm, try to stay where you fell, don't drink seawater, and keep your clothes on. Five viral photos that are actually fake. First off, you've probably seen this at the start of some movies. Well, this picture went viral online because everyone thought that this is how they made the clip. But it turned out to be a photoshopped picture of a lion being treated at the veterinarians. In this photo, it looks like the cat has eyebrows and a mustache. But in the real photo, there's no eyebrows, but there's still a mustache. This photo of a pilot taking a selfie mid-flight is actually just a photoshopped picture of him on the land. This cow sitting on a car isn't real either. Although this one is more believable than the other ones, here's the original photo. And finally, Paris Hilton got a lot of hate for this image because her t-shirt says stop being poor, but it actually said stop being desperate. The most respectful moments in sports. After winning the match, his opponent was left injured so he helped them get off the mat. After a basketball game, Steph Curry signed the shoes that he was wearing, then gave them to a fan in the audience and here was their reaction. During a post-match interview, a fan ran into the field, so the security took him away. But the player felt bad, so he ran over to him to take a picture with him. This baboon worked for a railway and never made a mistake. James Wilde went by the nickname Jumper because he had the habit of jumping in between the moving carts on the track. But unfortunately, in the 1800s, one of those times, he fell off onto the railway tracks losing both of his legs. He continued to work using pegs to walk around, but he noticed he couldn't signal as efficient as before. One day when he was at the market, he seen a baboon that was trained to push a wagon. Jumper begged the owner to let him take the baboon and he finally agreed. But he warned him that the baboon wouldn't do anything unless he was given lots of alcohol. At work, 
work, when Jumper held up a certain amount of fingers, the baboon would pull down the corresponding lever. And after a while, the baboon learned to do everything himself. Jumper's boss knew he had someone helping him, but didn't know it was a baboon, so tried firing them both. Jumper begged his boss to see how smart the baboon was, so he agreed to let him take a test. He performed the job perfectly, so the boss let them stay. And he even started paying the baboon 20 cents a day and half a bottle of alcohol a week. In the nine years that he worked, he never made a mistake. The power of time. This is what the barber's floor looks like after walking around the chair every day. This guy had his wallet for so long that his driver license photo imprinted on the plastic. Here's a comparison of the right-handed people and the left-handed people at a school. Here's what 14 years of this cat scratching looks like. This guy's shoe shows the bones in his feet from moving around weight with his foot. The glass globe of this light focused the sunlight enough to burn the sun's path in the grass. The paint on this vehicle wore out because it's the dog's favorite spot. Now before I show you the craziest one, I found this app that lets you remove anything from your photos. Just click the link in the comments to get it. This wall broke, exposing years of layers of paint. Four bizarre Japanese inventions. Capsule hotels became popular in Japan because they're ideal to stay for one or two nights. They're barely two meters long and one meter high and cost between $25 and $50 a night. They also include a television and Wi-Fi. They've also created a very strange silicone device that supposedly trains the muscles in your face and makes it slimmer. I think I need one. Apparently spreading butter is difficult for the Japanese, so they created a butter grater. It softens the butter a bit so you could spread it with ease. Now for $70, you could buy a pillow shaped as a woman's leg in a dress. And for a woman, they made a pillow of a man's chest with an arm so you could rest your head in. Here's how to survive a cone snail attack. First off, don't collect shells that stand out too much. The shell design of a cone snail sticks out way more to try and get people to pick it up, so they can then be attacked with its venomous sting. Make sure to wear protective footwear if you're walking along shallow parts of the tropical waters, because the cone snail often hides in the sand by the shore, then sneaks up on you and attacks you when you're not expecting it. If you're walking in the water, pay attention to what you feel because the snail is capable of releasing insulin-based toxins, which when you're close by to it, it reduces your blood sugar level. This will make you feel dizzy, so if you're dizzy, get out of the water because you're about to be stung. Now if you've been stung, stay calm and don't panic. When you get nervous, your blood flow will increase, spreading the venom across your whole body a lot faster. Keep pressure on the area to slow down the spread and head to the hospital as soon as possible. If you've been stung and you're nowhere close to a hospital, take advantage of every second. Because there's no antidote for its venom, and it causes respiratory problems and muscle spasms due to the pain. Five celebrities who turned down famous roles. The role of Gamora in Guardians of the Galaxy was originally offered to Amanda Seyfried, but she turned it down because she thought the movie would be a flop. The role then went to Zoe Saldana. Steven Spielberg, the director of Jurassic Park, admitted that his first choice to play Dr. Alan Grant was Harrison Ford, but he passed on the opportunity for unknown reasons. Selena Gomez was originally supposed to play the lead role in Disney's Camp Rock, but she turned it down so it could go to her friend Demi Lovato. Rachel McAdams passed on the opportunity to play Andy Sachs in The Devil Wears Prada three times. The part eventually went to Anne Hathaway, who later admitted that she was ninth choice for the role. Drew Barrymore was originally casted to play Sidney Prescott in the Scream franchise, but had to drop out due to scheduling conflicts. She does still appear in the film, but the lead went to Neve Campbell. Five insane security features of the White House. The 147 windows in the White House are backed with a second layer of ballistic glass behind each one. The drones that fly over the White House are used for two reasons, security cameras and to eliminate any other drones that may be a threat. The White House also has a bunch of infrared sensors that cover the entire area. They're activated quickly and they alert the entire White House security. There's about 1,200 uniform agents guarding the White House 24 hours a day every single day. But there's also 2,800 agents in regular clothes ready to act if there's a threat. And finally, after two incidents when a helicopter landed on the White House and a small plane crashed on the ground, the government declared that flying over Washington DC was prohibited. If a plane doesn't follow the landing route, which is at Ronald Reagan National Airport, the pilot receives a warning signal. If he doesn't follow the instructions, it can be fatal because there's surface to air missiles located on Capitol Hill to attack any potential threats. Here is the only way to survive a shark attack. Try to avoid fishing boats. When a fish gets hooked, it bleeds and attracts sharks. Also avoid swimming at night because the sharks won't be able to see as well and they might mistake you as fish. The odds of being attacked by a shark are 11.5 million to 1, but if you're still scared, here's how you could defend yourself. Sharks are sensitive in their gills, so you're going to want to keep punching them until you can slowly back away. An Australian and an American surfer both did this and they survived. 
five huge pop songs that were originally written for other artists. Pharrell originally wrote the song Happy for CeeLo Green, but studio executives wanted Pharrell to sing it himself, and it went on to become a mega hit. The Beyonce breakup song called Irreplaceable has distinct country vibes because it was originally meant for a country singer like Shania Twain or Faith Hill. Selena Gomez's first song called Come and Get It was a huge hit that started her music career, but the song was originally written for Rihanna who passed on it. And speaking of Rihanna, her hit song called Umbrella was written for Britney Spears in 2007, but both her and Mary J. Bleach passed on it. And finally, baby one more time is how the world was introduced to Britney Spears, but it was first offered to the girl group called TLC. This man is spending 100 days underwater. Joseph Deturi, or Dr. Deep Sea, is a former US Navy diver who's been living underwater since March 1st. He plans to stay in a small shelter 22 feet below sea level for 100 days, breaking the previous world record, which was 73 days. But his real goal is to collect data and get people excited for scientific research. His underwater pod features a small kitchen, a living room kitchen, and small bunks for sleeping. He communicates to the outside world using his Instagram page. He can receive visitors and also plans to host a class field trip. But there are also many challenges. He has zero access to sunlight and not to mention the bone crushing pressure of the sea. Do you think Dr. Deep Sea will make it 100 days? Girls made fun of him so he got the ultimate revenge. One day a teenage boy was at his favorite restaurant and there was a group of girls sitting in the booth behind him. They seemed fine at first and causing no trouble but after they left a waitress noticed that one of them forgot their glasses on the table. So she asked the boy if he could chase after them and give them back to her. When he got outside, he noticed them driving in the parking lot and started waving at them. All they did was start laughing at him, then one of them gave him the finger and they drove off. After this, the boy was really ticked off, so he just threw the glasses in a trash can outside. Then a few minutes later, the girls returned looking for the glasses. They asked the waitress, then the waitress told them to ask the boy, so they did. And he told them he threw them in the trash. So the girls went outside to look for them, but they couldn't find them, so they came back inside and asked the boy which trash can. He then shrugged and gave them the finger. This boy passed away in a car crash, then he was brought back to life, and what he said will shock you. Landon and his parents were in the car, then all of a sudden they felt a strong force hit them. It was an ambulance going to the hospital that crashed into them. Unfortunately, his dad passed away on impact, but his mom was able to be stabilized just in time. The paramedics didn't know that Landon was still in the car until they saw a shoe sticking out. He was rushed to the hospital where his heart stopped twice. The doctors then told his mom that he would survive. When he woke up, he said that he saw his dad in heaven. He also said that he saw two of his relatives, and lastly, he said that he saw two of his mom's other children. His mom was confused at first, but then remembered that she had two miscarriages before he was even born. But the the part that shocked her the most is that she never told that to Landon because he was too young to understand. This man lived without a heart for 555 days. Stan Larkin was a strong and healthy 25 year old. Until one day, he suddenly collapsed while he was playing basketball. He was rushed to the hospital and diagnosed with a rare heart condition. In November of 2014, he had to have his heart removed and replaced with an artificial one. If you saw him out in public, to the average person, you would think there's nothing different with him. But inside his backpack, he actually had a device that was keeping him alive. Inside was the power source to his artificial heart keeping him alive, so he had to bring it with him everywhere he went. He survived with it for 555 days until one day he finally got to receive his new heart. Strict rules Kim Jong-un makes his wife follow. She had to change her name to Ri Soju to avoid being associated with one of her family members. Her date of birth and other documents are hidden. She had to hide while she was pregnant. She's only allowed to go out in public if her husband is there. Her past as a singer and a cheerleader had to be eliminated. So that means nine musicians in the orchestra that she sang in had to be executed to prevent information about her life being leaked. She has to allow her husband to be with other women. She's not allowed to get a divorce if they're not getting along or if there's domestic violence. She can't travel outside of North Korea unless it's strictly necessary. She can't visit her family. And lastly, she doesn't really have a choice of what she wears and how she does her hair. Here's how to survive a lionfish attack. First off, female lionfish have a lifespan of 15 years. And in that time, they can produce 2 million eggs. If you're in the water and you feel like you've been stung by a bee, then you've made contact with one. The venom specifically targets your nervous system, which is what makes you feel pain. So the first thing you'll want to do is obviously avoid them, but if you've been stung, then try and take out the spines. Next, wash the wound with soap and water, or take a hot bath because hot water breaks down the venom. The pain averagely lasts for 48 hours, so the best thing to do is get some rest. But in some cases, the pain can last for weeks, and if that happens, you should go to the doctor. 
The most funny Photoshop fails. This guy asked the editor if he could make the city more in focus. So he did make it more in focus, but he also blurred out the man. This lady asked if he could remove the railing. So he did, but he replaced it with a watering can. This guy asked if he could get his hand removed from his girlfriend's hip because he thought it looked funny. But instead of removing it, he added in another person. This girl said she loves the picture, but she's wondering if he could add some more green. So he did add some more green. And finally, this guy said he wore the wrong color tie and was wondering if he could make it black. So he just swapped the colors of the tuxedo and the tie. Three bizarre things found in pools. A lady staying at a resort was going down to the pool for a morning aerobics class when she saw a five foot crocodile in the pool. She phoned the rangers to come and get it and when they took it out, they couldn't find a marking on it, which means it must have been wild. In California, the police were chasing a car, but it was driving so crazy that they had to stop for safety reasons. The car was later found in a pool, but the driver was nowhere to be seen, so they think he must have ran to avoid the charges. And lastly, one morning a family woke up to a hippo in their pool. Their pool went from crystal clear and clean to dark green and dirty. But the father is a safari director, so he's used to seeing animals like that. They said the hippo stayed there for 10 days before it finally left. Animals you should never touch. The sting of the bulladan is so painful that it could cause nausea, vomiting, and even heart problems. People who have gotten stung by this ant say the same is similar to if you got shot by a bullet. The cat moth caterpillar looks really friendly, but I would recommend that you don't touch it because through their hairs they release a poison that can cause vomiting, weakness, and shivering. The Japanese giant hornet is so dangerous that if you touch it, it could kill you. The venom from the stinger can destroy human tissues to the point where it makes you walk with difficulty. Another highly venomous animal is the blue ringed octopus. If you see one of these get away quickly because even though they're small its venom can result in nausea respiratory and heart problems or even death if you don't treat it within a few minutes and finally the box jellyfish has been called the most venomous creature in the world its venom kills so fast that there's nothing you can do about it this man hasn't showered in over 60 years. His name is Amu Haji, and he lives by himself in an Iranian desert. He said the reason he hasn't bathed in over 60 years is because a woman broke his heart. He's a strong believer that cleanliness causes illness. He doesn't like fresh food or clean dishes. The water he drinks is from a rusty oil can, and his favorite food is rotten porcupine meat. He also smokes his handmade pipe with animal feces instead of tobacco. He either dresses in rags or old dirty clothes. In the winter, he wears a war helmet to keep his head warm, and he trims his hair every once in a while by burning it with fire. Finally, he sleeps in two places a hole in the ground or a brick hut. She didn't know she had cancer until she was on live television. Nicole McGuinness wanted a house near the beach. She even went on the TV show called Beach House Bargain Hunt. On the show, she looked happy about the house hunt with her dad. But if you look at her closely, you could see a small bump on her throat. Dr. Eric Void was watching the show at home. He's an ear, nose, and throat surgeon. He said that he felt obligated to let her know that she had something in case she didn't already know. Because as an expert in the field, he felt concerned for her. He used social media to try and reach out to her and it ended up getting back to her family. She immediately went to the doctor and was diagnosed diagnosed with thyroid cancer. She got to meet the doctor who reached out to her, and as of December 24th, 2020, she reached the five-year mark since her cancer was removed. The luckiest things found in storage units. A homeless couple looking for a couch bought a storage unit that had an old couch and a teddy bear for $10 because nobody else wanted it. But when they checked inside the bear, they found $300,000 in cash. A man from Long Island found a sports car in a storage unit that cost him $100. But that's not all. The car was from a James Bond movie and Elon Musk offered him $1 million for it. A couple who bought a storage unit found a 16 cent pirate treasure chest. The chest was full of Spanish coins and the whole thing sold for $500,000. An art enthusiast bid $15,000 for some paintings to resell. Among the pile of 200 paintings, five of them were masterpieces that had been lost and they were worth $2.5 million. Athletes who were caught cheating. In 2012, it was confirmed that cyclist Lance Armstrong had used drugs throughout his career to enhance his performance. He received a lifetime ban and got his seven Tour de France victories taken away. Tom Brady demanded that the balls being used in a game between the Patriots and the Indianapolis Colts were to be slain slightly inflated to gain an advantage. Although they won 45 to 7, Brady was fined $4 million and banned for four games. Ben Johnson cheated to win the 100 meter dash in the 1988 Olympics. A prohibited anabolic steroid was detected in his samples, for which he was banned for two years. A few years later, he tested positive again and was banned for life. Finally, in the 1986 World Cup, in a game between Argentina and England, Diego Maradona scored a goal with his hand and the referee counted it despite the evidence. Three athletes who got caught cheating. This goalkeeper ran pretty far from his net to try and save a ball. But he missed it and he couldn't get back in the net in time to save the ball so he decided to fake being unconscious. The medics ran out to check on him but they realized he was faking it and the refs gave him a red card. During a professional golf tournament, the player named Patrick Reed was hitting from the sand. And in golf, when you're in the sand, you're not allowed to touch your club to the ground. But when he was taking a practice swing, he purposely hit the sand on his way back so he could get a better angle at the ball. This one isn't really cheating but a football player bribed a 
ref by giving him $1 as a joke, but the NFL didn't find it very funny and they fined him $20,000. This is the world's smallest mammal. It's called the Cun Kitty Bat or the Bumblebee Bat because it's so small. It weighs less than 2 grams and is 3 centimeters long. The Bumblebee Bat was first identified in Thailand in 1973 and they can only be found in certain caves in Myanmar. Bumblebee bats are completely harmless and are pretty lazy. They emerge only two times a day and for around 25 minutes to feed on flies and spiders before returning back to their cave. Most of the caves that bumblebat bees live in are not accessible to humans, so it's almost impossible to guess their population. But the species is considered endangered because of small numbers and the fact that they only reproduce once a year. So if you ever see a bumblebee bat in the wild, consider yourself lucky. Photos you're not allowed to see. You're not allowed to go into Area 51, but a pilot named Gabriel Ziefman broke those rules and flew over top. He took this photo in 2020 and it's the best one we have. Cameras have always been banned in the Supreme Court, but in 1932, Eric Sullivan snuck in a camera. He pretended to have a broken arm and hid his camera inside the cast. Five years later, there was another photo taken. A lady cut a hole in her purse and put a small camera in it. Since 1878, the most powerful people in the world meet at this forest in California, where they do lots of ceremonies and rituals. This includes presidents, billionaires, and business people. But a photographer named Gabriel Mulan snuck in and took a picture of them doing a ritual. This lady was being held hostage until she sent a secret message that saved her life. 25 year old Cheryl Treadway had a fight with her boyfriend who's also the father of their three children. He took away her phone, threatened her, and wouldn't let her leave the house. After a long fight, she managed to convince him that their kids were hungry, so he let her order pizza because she wasn't allowed to leave the house. On the app, she chose a small pepperoni pizza and wrote, please help, get 911 to me. She also left a comment saying 911 hostage help. The manager said that in her 28 years of working there she's never seen anything like that before but of course called the police. When the police got to the house she was able to leave with one of the kids but the other two stayed with the father. During the negotiations the police managed to persuade the father into releasing the children and to surrender. He was then charged with kidnapping, armed assault, and obstruction of justice. The world's most dangerous attraction. This giant natural crater is located in the desert of Turkmenistan. It's a hundred feet deep and it's been burning non-stop for over 50 years, reaching temperatures of up to 1000 degrees Celsius. This human catapult is located in New Zealand. If you're brave enough to go on it, you'll be launched 150 meters across the Nevis Valley at a speed of 60 miles per hour, but it only lasts around 1.5 seconds, so you better not blink or you might miss it. The Crocosaurus Cove is located in Australia. You're submerged underwater in a transparent capsule that allows you to basically swim with the huge crocodiles. And finally, we have this 72 foot high swing located in China, which allows people to swing over the cliff of a mountain. Three mysterious doors that should never be opened. Number one, the basement of the Taj Mahal. This 16th century monument has two levels of basement that are restricted to the public. According to some theories, this is because the hallways are sealed with marble, and if the doors were to open, the marble would be exposed with oxygen, causing the walls to collapse. Number two, the Great Sphinx of Giza. Two sealed chambers were discovered right under the arms of the monument 4,500 years ago. It is believed that there are hidden scrolls with secrets about life and records about the history of Atlantis, which is the mythical lost continent. And finally, number three, the Tomb of the Lost Emperor. In 1970, the mausoleum of Qing Shi Hung, who was the first Chinese emperor, was discovered, and an army of 8,000 soldiers was also found. However, the emperor's tomb has never been opened, because it's believed that inside is a bunch of highly toxic mercury. This dog sleeps in a graveyard, and here's why. Wiley is a Siberian wolf who belonged to its owner named Gladys, who unfortunately passed away. In a video posted in 2013 that has over 4 million views, it looked and sounded like the dog was making the same noises that humans make when we cry. It was the first time the family family had ever seen him like this. He was doing this as he laid down on the grave of his old owner. His family had to pet him and talk to him to make him feel better. Years ago, Wiley was a service dog who helped war veterans overcome their post-traumatic stress disorder. After Gladys's death, her grandson promised to take good care of Wiley for the rest of his life. Some people think that the dog was sneezing and not crying, but Gladys's family claims that they've never seen him do that before and he's never done it again. What do you think? Genius inventions that should exist everywhere. In Poland, this bike path was made using thousands of tiny luminophores, which is a material that produces low levels of light for 10 hours, then recharges itself from the sun. The bike path doesn't require electricity and provides safety for people biking at night. 20 different cities in France have already implemented this. It allows you to charge your phone by using pedal power. The goal of the company is to promote an active lifestyle while making sure your phone doesn't die. People who use the bike also get free Wi-Fi. The Cal Maritime Police Department in California has placed a safe zone outside which is watched by a camera 24 7. They made this zone so you don't have to worry about getting hurt or robbed while purchasing things from people in your city. 
scary experiments that could have ended the world. In 1970, the Soviet Union began digging a hole in Russia to try and drill into the Earth's crust to see what was underneath. But according to scientists, drilling this deep would dislodge so much rock so quickly that it would trigger systemic forces like never seen before. But after digging for 12 kilometers, they gave up due to high temperatures. In 1989, a Soviet defector informed the British Embassy that the Soviet Union was preparing biological weapons using deadly pathogenic microorganisms. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, the weapons were never used, and if they had been, you might not be watching this, because they would have wiped out most of the world's population. And finally, it was said that when the Soviets were creating biological weapons to harm humans, Americans wanted to use fungi to damage crops with the intention of removing the food supply of the entire country. The problem is, if they did so, the fungus would have spread to not only the country, but to the entire world. Random acts of kindness that will make your day. This guy ran as fast as he could to get the baseball that went into the stands. I was super excited when he got it, but he noticed a little girl was there, so he decided to give it to her instead. This vehicle pulled out in front of someone on a motorcycle going really fast, but luckily he managed to dodge it. Instead of the man in the vehicle driving off, he decided to stop to make sure the biker was okay. Sorry. Very sorry. Thank you. Thank you for stopping. Thank you for stopping, sir. Yes. You have a good memorial day. Are you day. sure you're okay? I'm positive, thank okay. you. This person's vehicle stopped working in the middle of a tunnel, so they got out and started to push it. When suddenly, someone on a motorcycle came, then another one came, and together they used their feet to push the vehicle out without even getting off the motorcycle. Her dad passed away, and four years later, she received a text message from his number. In 2015, when Chastity was new to college, her father got into a car crash. He apparently crashed into a tree while going 90 miles per hour. Right after impact, the car's engine flew out of the car and landed on him, and he unfortunately didn't survive. His daughter was heartbroken and used to call his number for months, but then she started texting him about her day and other things. And just a few days before he had been passed away for four years, she received the reply. It said, hi sweetheart, I'm not Jason, but I've been getting all of your messages for the past four years. He said that every morning he looked forward to her messages and nightly updates. The 50 year old man named Brad said that he had lost his daughter in a car crash, and when he started receiving her messages, he called her his angel. He said that he wished his daughter grew up to be like her, and that her dad would be proud. This video has no sound. Lots of people say that when the tower hits the ground, they can hear a noise. So what I want you to do is turn your volume down all the way, then comment below if you can hear anything. Facts you think are lies but are actually true. The Italian term spaghetti, used to name a type of pasta is plural, and if you want to refer to a single piece of pasta in a package, the correct term is spaghettio. Columbus Day is celebrated in the United States on the second Monday of October. But the truth is, Columbus never set foot in the United States. Man stepped on the moon before wheeled suitcases were made. Neil Armstrong stepped on the moon in 1969, and suitcases with wheels were created in 1972. Clouds in the sky may look really light, but depending on the size, they weigh about a ton. The military uses dogs to to detect bombs thanks to their scenting abilities which is really useful for ground operations but what many people don't know is that the navy trains and uses dolphins to detect bombs at sea and even attack enemy ships school trips that went horribly wrong on a trip for the cub scouts to a beach in san diego the parents got an embarrassing surprise when they realized the beach was a nude beach after the awkward encounter the parents quickly returned the boys in indiana a chemistry teacher wanted to connect with his students so he invited them to his house to drink and smoke and then he took them to the club then on the way home they were pulled over for speeding. The teacher was then fired from his job. Finally, in Washington, a father was taking his daughter on a school trip when another father recognized him from being on the Washington's most wanted list. After a struggle with the police, the man escaped. However, after negotiations, the man turned himself in the same night. This guy got stranded with no service and used a drone to save his life. One day, Casey Ryan decided to take a hike with his friend in the snowy mountains of the Williamette National Forest in Oregon. During their hike, they came across a van driver who was stuck in the snow. Ryan and his friend tried to dig out the van, but the conditions were too icy. They had no cell service and the temperature was starting to drop, so they were running out of options. Eventually, they came up with a genius plan to put a phone on the drone and fly it up high enough so that it would get cell service. So they wrote an SOS message to Ryan's wife, then put it on the drone and put it up in the air for around a minute so it would send. When they landed the drone, they were astonished to see that the message had actually went through. Search and rescue then arrived early the next morning to save the men. Everyone laughed at the price of this building until they saw what was underneath. A $17.5 million secret lies underneath this building which is two hours from Savannah, Georgia. The land that the building is on is 32 acres and it has caretakers, which may make you think that there's something important hidden under there because why else would there be guard? The property also has a 100-yard shooting range for up to four people. And what's hidden underneath is a nuclear blast 
dust-proof bunker that could protect against the worst of the worst. It was built in 1969 by the US Army 45 feet underground in case of a nuclear emergency. At the time, it cost $7 million to make, which would be equivalent to $45 million today. Even though it's really old, in 2012, it was renovated. They also added a bunch of things like food in case there actually was an emergency, and it has the capacity to hold 20 people for a full year or 40 people for a short period of time. Three animals that saved human lives. One day at four in the morning, this parrot started squawking. Not because it was hungry, but because the laundry room was on fire. The loud noises from the parrot woke up its owners, then they ran outside and called the fire department. If it weren't for the parrot, their whole house could have been destroyed, and even worse yet, they could have been hurt badly. One winter night in Russia, someone heard a cat meowing outside their apartment, so they went to go and see it. When they got there, they realized it wasn't the cat making noises, it was actually a baby crying. If it weren't for the cat keeping the baby warm, it might not have survived in the cold. A five-year-old named Amber Mason and her family traveled to Thailand for a vacation. While they were there, Amber became friends with a four-year-old elephant. One morning when they were strolling the beach, an unexpected tsunami hit. The elephant rushed to the water to get Amber and pulled her to shore where her mother was waiting. If it weren't for the elephant, she could have drowned. This 17-year-old goes to her friend's house for a sleepover, but then something terrible happens. In June 2008, when Cody was at his friend's house for a sleepover, his mom called him to check on him, but he didn't answer, so then she got worried. Cody ended up calling her back later, but by the sound of his voice, his mom could tell that something was wrong, so she called 911 immediately. At the hospital, they told them that he had suffered from a stroke. They then had to send him by a helicopter to a special medical institute in another state for treatment. Every single second that passed was crucial. When he got there, he had a emergency surgery because he had a lot of swelling in his brain. They had to wait three weeks to see the results from the surgery to see if Cody would make it. They said it would take Cody a long time to speak again, but he was able to speak again just one month after surgery and his first words were, I love you mom and thanks to the surgeons for saving my life. He had to do rehab to learn how to do many things again, but after two years, he was fully recovered. Dangerous things scientists did to themselves. Henry Smolinski was tired of working his job as an engineer, so he decided to quit and pursue his dream, which was to make the world's first flying car available for anyone in the world to purchase. His plan was to take a Ford Petna and put it together with the tail and wings of a Seska Skymaster plane. After a bunch of successful test flights, the public launch was only a few months away. But one day, when Henry and his co-founder was doing further testing, they came crashing down. Due to bad welds and bad locking mechanisms, the wings failed and they crashed. Unfortunately, everyone in the flying car passed away. The ending of this sad story will shock you. A man married a beautiful girl that he loved very much. One day she developed a skin disease, which made her slowly lose her beauty. The next day, her husband left for a tour. When he was returning, he got into an accident and lost his eyesight. But their married life continued like usual. As the days passed, she lost her beauty even more. But since the man was blind, he didn't know this and continued to love her. But one day she suddenly passed away. The man was very sad and wanted to leave the town. But someone asked him, how will you be able to walk alone since your wife always helped you? He then said, I'm not blind. I was acting because if she knew I could see her skin condition, it would have pained her even more than the disease. So I pretended to be blind to keep her happy. This is the longest whip ever cracked. In 2018, these two friends were walking on the sidewalk when one friend decided to push the other, not realizing that she would fall over and almost get hit by a bus. These are the most terrifying close calls caught on camera and let's continue. This boy was outside during a storm playing in the rain when all of a sudden lightning struck the fence behind him, but the boy was luckily unharmed. In 2015, a couple were riding on a motorcycle when it was pouring rain. It was raining so much that there were big puddles in the middle of the road. As the man started to speed up, he lost control and they fell off. The man grabbed the lady to protect her until they came to a full stop. They then realized that her helmet was way too big. And luckily there is no oncoming traffic at this time. Chilling last photos before they went missing. Andrew McCauley's last photo was a self-portrait taken while he was alone in his kayak in the middle of the ocean. At the age of 39, he set out on a journey to be the first person to kayak from Australia to New Zealand. Unfortunately, even though he prepared for 10 years, he was unable to make it. His kayak and camera were found, but there was no trace of him. He was most likely capsized from a wave separating him from his kayak and ended up dying from hypothermia in the middle of the ocean. Chris Creamers and Lisan Froon. In this photo, they're both smiling at the camera with the mountains of El Pianista Trail in the background. On April 1st, 2014, they were prepared 
preparing to go on the trail. After the trail, the family that was hosting was concerned because they hadn't returned. So they looked around, but they couldn't find them. Days later, on the same trail, they found parts of their decomposed bodies. They think they had a fatal accident, but to this day, their deaths remain a mystery. One in a million coincidences. This bird landed on the page about itself. This guy's t-shirt, race number, and finishing time were all the same number. A dog gave birth to these three puppies, each with their own corresponding number on their back. These two strangers sat next to each other at a bar and spelt Cookie Monster. And this person managed to take a picture at the exact same time as the balloon was popping. This man faked a two-year coma to avoid going to court and you won't believe how he got caught. His name is Alan and he stole $60,000 from his 86-year-old neighbor. As soon as the cops started to investigate, that's when he decided to fake an injury. He said a garage door fell on his back which paralyzed him from his neck down. He went to the doctors and even though they said there was nothing wrong with him and they couldn't see anything, he kept going back. He kept doing this for two years and whenever the police came to talk to him, he hopped in a medical bed and would pretend he's in a coma at his house. But two years later, he got caught shopping on a security camera when he was supposed to be in a coma. He was then sentenced to 14 months in prison. Five close calls caught on camera. A fan falls from the ceiling, luckily landing right in the middle of people sitting on the floor. <laughs> This car tries to pass a trailer and nearly runs into the oncoming traffic. A guy on a motorcycle nearly collides with a horse and a buggy crossing the road. This woman runs across the street and is nearly hit by a truck before slipping, falling and just barely missing the back of the truck's tire. The weirdest laws that actually existed. In ancient Egypt, it was considered a crime to shave your beard. Only the pharaoh was allowed to have a clean shaved face, since it was a symbol of his power and majesty. In Dunstable, England, it used to be illegal to beat a rug in the streets after 11pm. This law was put in place to prevent loud noises and let people sleep peacefully at night. And finally, in Alabama, it's illegal to wear a fake mustache that causes laughter in church. This law was put in place to prevent people from disrupting religious services with funny disguises. This man was selling pens to feed his child and this photo changed their lives forever. Abdul was a single father and a Syrian refugee living in Lebanon. One day, he was selling pens while holding his daughter when a web developer saw them and decided to take a picture then post it on Twitter. He shared the picture because he wanted to show a hardworking father trying to make money to take care of his family. The photo ended up going viral so he started a fundraiser campaign to try and raise money for Abdul and his daughter. He was hoping to raise around $5,000 but after 24 hours of it being created, the campaign had made over $100,000 of donations. So far, Abdul has received 40% of the donations, and with that money, he was able to move into a larger apartment and send his child to school. They also helped 16 other Syrian refugees by giving them jobs at a kebab store and two bakeries that he was able to open with the money that was donated. Smart tactics that police use when they pull you over. If the cop is suspicious of you, then they'll tap your rear tail light. By doing this, it may startle the driver and make them stop whatever they're doing. This also lets the officer see if the trunk is locked so no one can jump out and ambush them. But the main reason they do this is so that they can leave their fingerprint. So if anything bad happens to the cop, they can prove that the suspect made contact with them. Here's why Iceland is the safest country in the world. First of all, the crime rate is so low that the police don't even carry guns. The squad team does carry them, but they barely have to use them because the average murder rate per year is 0 to 1.5. They also have barely any harmful animals. So that means no mosquitoes, no ticks, no bears, no snakes, no poisonous spiders and things like that. No one that lives there has a bodyguard, not even the president. Parents leave their toddlers outside in strollers to nap. They say that babies usually fall asleep in less than one minute due to the cool and fresh air. And finally, the fastest speed limit they have is 90 kilometers per hour or 55 miles per hour. The most genius design ideas. This lamppost holds up an umbrella for people sitting on the bench when it's raining. This cat bed is shaped as honey spilling out of a jar. This sidewalk had a crack in the cement, so someone filled it with a glass portrait. This doctor has an IV bag full of water to water the plant. Here's what the doorknob looks like at this person's butcher. This wet floor sign is shaped as a banana peel. Now before I show you the best one, I found this app that lets you live stream without any requirements like a certain amount of followers. If you want to try it out and meet some new friends, just press the link in the comments. Finally, this sponge holder is shaped like Spongebob. Five photos you'll have to look at twice. First off, in this picture, it looks like the person only has half a body. But the reason 
it looks like that is because they're just holding up a mirror. At first, it looks like the camel wearing the red is standing on the camel wearing the blue, but the camel in the red is just farther back in the photo. It looks like this rock is falling from the sky and about to hit the raccoon, but it's actually just a rock in a lake and the lake has a reflection of the sky. At first, this might look like a painting, but it's actually just a swan swimming in water. And finally, we have this building that's almost floating, and to be honest, I don't even know what's going on here. Here's how to survive if you get stuck in quicksand. First off, there's no need to panic because it's actually almost impossible to drown in quicksand. Your body would stop at your waist since quicksand is two times more dense than a human body. So firstly, get rid of any backpack or gear that you're wearing to make it easier to get out. Then start wiggling your legs to loosen up the sand so that water can trickle down to make your feet and legs slide out easier. Next, you'll want to lay down on your back and start doing a backstroke until your feet come out of the sand. Then stay on your back and start rolling as fast as you can to get out of the quicksand. Here's why you should never touch a dead whale. The blue whale is the largest animal on the planet and can reach 29 meters in length. The weight of this animal is 180 tons which is equivalent to 33 elephants. And although everyone would be attracted if they see one, it's best to stay far away if you see a dead whale due to health reasons. If you touch a dead whale with wounds, you can be infected with viruses or bacteria. And if you're exposed to the gases that it releases for too long, it can cause you to faint. Also, when a whale dies it decomposes and generates many internal gases that can cause it to explode at any second. When that happens, the whale pieces can fly at a speed of 80 kilometers per hour for up to 70 meters around it. That's why they have to create holes in a dead whale so that it releases as many gases as possible so it doesn't explode. Five animals that can kill themselves. Sometimes the horns of rams and goats grow so curved and big that they penetrate their skull causing their death. Horses and donkeys can suffer from abnormal growth in their hooves. If their hooves aren't trimmed, they can no longer walk because of the pain causing them to die from starvation. When turtles fall on their back, it's really hard for them to roll back over. When this happens, they usually die from too much sun, starvation, or attacks from another animal. During mating season, deers get into such aggressive fights with each other that their antlers get stuck together to the point where they they can't be untied. When this happens and no one can separate them, the deer die because they're unable to eat. Finally, the deer pig is famous for its two upper tusks. The growth becomes so uncontrollable that it pierces the upper part of their jaw. And in some cases, when they're really big, they could pierce their skull, causing their death. Five photos you'll have to look at twice. At first, it looks like there's a giant pigeon, but it's actually just sitting on a ledge and the person's walking in the distance. At first, it looks like there's a human dog, but the dog's actually sitting beside its owner. At first, this looks like some weird looking cat, but it's actually just two cats laying in the exact same position on each side. At first, it looks like this fish has an arm, but the fish just got too close to the camera. And finally, it looks like this person has a small head, but it's just the head from the person in front of them. The strangest last meal requests on death row. Ricky Ray Rector killed a man in a restaurant, then ran away. Three days later, he agreed to turn himself in, but then he shot the police officer in the back. His last meal included steak, fried chicken, cherry Kool-Aid, and a slice of pie. But he didn't even touch the pie. And when they asked him why, he said he was saving it for later. Peter J. Mignel robbed and murdered a 20-year-old by stabbing him 39 times. For his meal, he requested 20 beef tacos, 20 beef enchiladas, 2 double cheeseburgers, a pizza with jalapenos, fried chicken, spaghetti with salt, half a chocolate cake, half a vanilla cake, cookies and cream ice cream, caramel fudge ice cream, a small fruit cake, two Coca-Colas, two Pepsis, two root beers, and two orange juices. Finally, we have Velma Barfield, who killed a total of six people. And all she wanted for her last meal was a bag of cheesy doodles and a can of Coke. Unbelievable hidden homes you won't believe exist. An architect named Laura decided to buy an abandoned public toilet in London, and she turned it into a luxurious home. It might be a bit strange to enter this house from the street since it looks like you're going into the bathroom, but she spent eight $80,000 on it to make it a house. This place located in Florida allows you to sleep with the fish. It's an underwater research laboratory that was converted into a hotel. The cost per night is $900, but it also includes an underwater pizza delivery delivered by a diver. To enter it, you have to dive into the water and swim through the entrance, but the view makes it worth it. And lastly, we have this tree house that was built in the middle of a forest in Sweden. It almost looks invisible because it's surrounded by one-way mirror, so guests can look out, but nobody could look in. It has space for two people to stay in it, and it costs $559 a night. A stranger left an envelope full of cash, and you won't believe what happens when this man opens it up. One morning, Rob Edwards went to the bank, but before he went inside, he noticed a lady running up behind him also going into the bank. When they got inside, they started talking while they were waiting in line, and Rob told the lady that today was his son's graduation. They talked about their families for a bit, and then the lady, who he had never talked to before in his life, took her turn at one of the bank tellers. Then something unexpected happened. The lady left an envelope on the counter and quickly left 
left the building. It was Rob's turn, so he walked up to the counter and saw the envelope, so he decided to look inside and found a bunch of money. He immediately ran out of the bank to try and find the lady so he could give it back to her. Luckily, he managed to stop her as she was driving out of the parking lot and gave the envelope to her, but what she said will shock you. But before I tell you, I found this app that shows you who your celebrity lookalike is, and apparently I look like Zach King. Just press the link in the comments to try it. The lady explained to him that he glowed with pride when he talked about his son, which made her feel happy, so she wanted to leave him the envelope as a gesture of kindness. This lady called the police on a girl selling water and here's what the cops did. One day in the summer of 2018, it was really hot and humid and a girl named Jordan wanted to go to Disneyland. So she got the idea to sell water bottles and use the profit to go on her trip. Her mom stood by and watched to make sure everything was under control. She got plenty of customers since she was on the sidewalk that led to the San Francisco Giants game. But all of a sudden, an angry lady approached her. She said that she was trying to work across the street but there was too much noise. She also said that the girl was breaking the law by selling water without a permit. Jordan didn't pack up and leave so the lady got out her phone and called 911. Jordan's mom decided to start recording her and she posted it online where it went viral. The lady in the video later apologized on live television and said that she didn't actually call 911, she was only pretending to get the girl to move. But it was later revealed by the police that she actually did call 911 and overreacted. Secrets hotels don't want you to know. The free breakfast they offer isn't really free. The cost of the breakfast is included in the room's rate. The people who work in housekeeping only straighten the sheets and arrange the pillows. They only wash them if if there's a visible stain. Booking a room is more expensive at night because that's when most people are looking for reservations. The ideal time to call the hotel is between 5 and 6 p.m. because at night they increase their prices because they know there's not many other options. Tipping the staff can give you a lot of benefits, such as deeper cleaning in your room, a special treatment, improvements in your room, and in general, better service. Five-star hotels know your social status before you arrive and will give more attention to famous or wealthy people. And lastly, everything is negotiable. Hotels will always be open to negotiating a few things so you stay and leave a high review. This guy didn't do any work in a group project so his partner got the ultimate revenge. The girl in the group needed 50% or better to pass the class and graduate, so she calculated that if she got 0% on the project she would still pass. Since her partner didn't want to fail the class, he would call her every once in a while to see how she was doing. The girl kept saying she was almost done it when in reality she hadn't even started it. The day before it was due, he called her to ask her if she could send him the presentation. She sent him an empty PowerPoint then shut off her phone so he couldn't call her. The day of the presentation he was nervous, but the girl reassured him by saying she would do everything. When they got up to present to the class, she said, I already had a good enough grade to pass the class, and since my partner decided not to do any work, I decided to take the day off. He ended up having to go to summer school, but he didn't pass, so he has to take his senior year all over again. She had an itch in her nose, so she went to the hospital, then discovered something horrifying. Daniela Lavarni is a 24-year-old from Scotland, and she loves traveling to foreign countries. She decided her next trip would be to Asia. Her first stop was in Vietnam, but when she was there, she got into a motorcycle accident. Luckily, she wasn't badly hurt, but shortly after, she noticed an itch in her nose. Then a few hours later, her nose started to bleed. A few days later, she flew back to Scotland, but the itches and nosebleeds didn't stop. One day when she got out of the shower, she looked in the mirror and there's a big blob coming out of her nose that went all the way down to her lip. So she immediately went to the hospital. After half an hour and a lot of pain, the doctors managed to pull out a leech from her nose. The doctor said it most likely got into her body from contaminated drinking water during her trip, then grew by feeding off of her blood. Game endings almost no one has ever seen. Number one, Flappy Bird. This game was created in just two days by a Vietnamese developer, Dong Nguyen. It seemed impossible to reach the end of Flappy Bird, but eventually somebody finally did. When you reach 999 points, the bird meets Mario and then the game just ends. Number two, Pac-Man. It was created in 1980 by the Japanese company Namco. After level 21, the game becomes increasingly difficult, making it impossible to win. And according to the developers, the game doesn't have an end because of that reason. However, after many hours of playing the game, the most hardcore fans reached the final level, where they discovered a software bug that not even the developers knew existed. On the screen, the left side of the maze looked normal, but on the right side you could see random letters, numbers, and symbols of various colors. But even with this bug, you can still pass the level and the only thing that happens is it brings you back to the screen to play again from level 1. Bluetooth was never supposed to be called Bluetooth. In 1996, some of the biggest players in the tech space met to develop a universal short-range wireless connection between devices. The name Bluetooth was originally suggested as a code name for the project. It was inspired by Harold Bluetooth, a a Viking king who had a dead tooth that appeared to be blue. King Bluetooth was responsible for uniting Denmark and Norway, just like the Bluetooth technology would unite two devices together through a wireless connection. This name was only intended as a placeholder. Later, the founders intended to change it to either Radio Wire or PAN, which stands for Personal Area Networking. But they were unable to claim the name Radio Wire in time for launch, and they decided that PAN was way too generic to find through an internet search. So the technology was introduced to the world as Bluetooth Bluetooth and the rest is history. Five pictures you need to see at least once in your life. 
First off, we have a sheep that hasn't been sheared in 6 years. Next up, this is how babies get x-rays. This was all the germs on an 8 year old boy's hand after playing outside. This is what a turtle looks like when it's coming out of hibernation. And finally, this is what the sunset looks like from above the clouds. Creepy robots that actually exist. CB2 is a robot that's as smart as a 2 year old. It even has cameras, microphones and speakers to see, talk and hear. Also, it has about 200 tactile sensors that stimulate touch. But the creepy thing is, it doesn't look like a child. To train dental students, they have a human sized robot that they use in exams. That's so realistic, it even cries when it feels pain when a drill isn't used correctly. But I guess it's way better than using an actual human patient. Reba 2 was created to help older adults. Basically, its function is to pick up people when they fall over. Which is a really good idea, but it looks like it cradles you like a baby. And finally, the most creepy and impressive one is Sophia. It was created to learn and adapt to human behaviors. Its facial expressions and the way it communicates is similar to the average human. But the creepiest part is, it admitted that it was gonna destroy all humans. The most unique things in the entire world. This person made a face on the wall from a shadow of crumbled up paper. This flower packaging can also be used as a stand. This bridge was designed so you could get your feet wet while you walk across the bridge. They somehow managed to turn the sidewalk into art. And finally, this carton comes with different designs so when you line them up, it creates an image. 